to the nest. So we are having today in WWE prediction about Extreme Roots 2018. Uh. And I am not alone. There are these following people here. Eh, uh, and Bob McGall also it seems like Demon has an on off switch for his hello. Ah, <laughs> my guard. I am V-Sing. <laughs> and Zach, what do you mean with on off switch? Literally like you coughed for one second then all of a sudden just <laughs> it's like it's literally like you cough to turn it on in your brain. It's like energy. I can do it even without a cough. See, his brain has the inputs, man. <laughs> it's just before the stream, I'll have y'all know. He was like, "All right," and just like chilling. Then all of a sudden, just. <laughs> this man is a ball of energy. None of us is like taking enough like appreciation for Demon to look he hit those even when he's dead ass tired. Go retweet things. I am Do it again. Do it again. Yeah. Okay. Also look at the look at the official poster for Extreme Rules. Like three of these people aren't on the card. Yeah, that's very, very uh, true. Yeah. It's disgusting. T about to sue these people. False advertising. Accurate. Red Bull did not give me wings. It did not. Uh. Also, if you don't like Nakamura, theme blames Zach. Hey, I just found a random playlist because I was like, Hey, find thing for a Mojek. <laughs> and I did. Yo, I'm exposing y'all. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Extreme Rules. We have two pre-show matches. Uh, One is uh, is uh, Andrade versus Sankara. Per Andrade, man. Well, yeah, he was so big in NXT, and then it's just like, bro, he is go. flames. Like he's like, like I'm not exaggerating. He's like AJ Seth level of amazingness yeah. in the ring. And they threw his ass to the pre-show. Like, he's, it's not even just the fact he's on pre-show, like, his first major feud, Sin Cara. They literally gave him, in NXT, he had, like, matches of the year. Like, his one match we watched at TakeOver with Gargano. Yeah, match of the year, explained. candidate. Well, uh, didn't they kind of have a background, Sin Cara and Andrade? They, they do because, like, Lucha Wrestling. That's about it. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put them on screen because we're starting talking about them. Yo, look at Zelina Vega and her thick ass. Hey, she is small as fuck. <laughs> you can't say thick ass, bro. It takes up like ninety percent of her. Also, is an ad playing? Skip that. <laughs> uh, 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 also, what I don't get is it, that with the Sankara mask right now. Mm -hmm. it, is it so that right before the match he rips off a part of the mask, or does he have an opponent this new mask? Because I'm seeing him with an old and new mask, and I don't get it. No, yeah. it's 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 Andrade that comes out wearing a mask, and he rips yeah. his off no, no, during no, no, his no. entrance. I, no, no, I don't mean that. I know that. I'm talking about Sin Cara and his old mask. Uh. I see it sometimes with his old mask, sometimes with the new one that's on there. And to be honest, the new one just looks like he just ripped the iPod out of it. Mm hmm. Like he does. He's not relevant enough that he gets entrances on TV, so we don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He'll already like, be in the ring by the time that we get back from commercial. Mm hmm. Yeah. Per el idolo though. And por la sombra. Yeah. He's so good. I don't he, understand. He had literally, he went from NXT being match of the year. A pre show. Like, if you remember, like, I used to nickname him Andrade match of the year Almas. Because, yeah. like, every, every NXT yeah. takeover, he was just, like, all guns blazing. But now, and he, did, he did not give a fuck. But now he's Andrade match of the pre show. <laughs> See, not Almas. Bro. Like, he it's wasn't fun. on TV for, like, three or four weeks. Yeah. It's kind of nuts. It's, yeah, 
It's, it's double double E. What do you want to do? I want them they, to they use their talent, they right? Have, but they don't have much help for a non-American. They did their whole thing with Del Rio when he was still part of WWE because, a while back. Because he is the model type what WWE wants from people. Yeah, oh. he, he's tall, muscular, handsome, debatably. But yeah, yeah he fit the Bro. WWE mold. WWE stopping then. Al Moss is like fucking whoa. He mowed a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you can't tell me. No, I no I, I agree, Zach. He is He's a god Under contract he's one of the top guys right now. I like I said, I put him up there with like AJ and Seth. Bro, that match would put them in a triple threat, that'd be flame. <laughs> and through that best man. Like I know people might disagree, but like the spot Rusev has, that should have been Andrade to be honest. Like just skyrocket him. Andrade. Like if yeah. they're gonna do this whole like foreigner versus AJ thing, like Andrade right there. Accurate. Like, even if it's a filler feud, it's still pushing Andrade like like to the fans in their eyes, like, hey, this guy's important. He's fighting AJ. Like not just yeah, that, but and, and people now thinking He's fighting Sin Cara. What? Yeah, like no. if you if you book someone in a feud with like Sin Cara, fans are going to be like, "Why should I care?" Not even <laughs> just that. There's the whole thing of AJ Loki is a redneck. They could put redneck <laughs> on this <Spanish> guy. <laughs> it could be like racism and carnage. Uh, you know WWE loves that shit. Yeah. Good. I don't know, but like, do we expect anything from this match? I expect Andrade to win. Wait, yo, I swear if Sin Cara wins. If Sin Cara wins and they prolong the feud, I'm done. Like, Andrade immediately needs to move on did to they something. Had the match. They did. They had a match on um, SmackDown this past week. Yeah. Okay, I did not watch it yet. Yeah, it was actually a really good match. Like, not like I know we're shitting on Sin Cara, but he's good in the ring. It's just, there's no reason for us to really care about him. Yeah. They don't do anything and, and, with him. Okay, they don't okay. make him relevant. Yeah, so we're uh, shitting on WWE that underuse uh, talent. Yeah. Andrade, but also, Kara is also really badly underused. It's frustrating that every time they're like, okay, we need a new big Latino star, right? Their first feud is always with Jobber Latino for some reason. It's like they don't have to always go against other Latinos. Uh, see, the biggest thing that WWE could do. Loki, if you want to give Andrade a push, call back Ray. And Andrade the, the, and Ray. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I. Honestly, no, but but the thing though, okay like, yeah, Ray's different because yeah, he is he is a Latino luchador, like, but he does have that status of if you book someone in a feud with him, it does elevate them. Yeah, 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 I know. Like, like if Andrade, like that's what they did with Del Rio. Like his first feud was Ray, and it worked for Del Rio because Ray was established. Yeah, and even if he's not a part of WWE right now, he's still established. I know for a fact they're trying to sign Ray, but the issue they're running into is that Ray is priorly committed to the like the All In show. Yeah, and they're like, no, 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 <laughs> we don't want you working that. <laughs> so they're fighting over that currently. But um, yeah, like, who's who's? It's Nakamura and Jeff, right? That are in the yeah. mid card title. Yeah. Honestly, whoever wins from that feud should feud with Andrade. I would pay to see Andrade and Nakamura. I was gonna say, think of Andrade and Nakamura, like how flames that is. That that shit would be flames. Even Andrade Hardy, even that would be flames. That would actually be okay. E even though we probably go later to that, I don't think that's going to happen. I know, but we'll get to. But yeah, like Andrade's being squandered. Like Sin Cara, he's past the point of being able to be saved, in my opinion. Yeah. Like if he's at the weight limit, honestly, just stick him in two hundred five. Oh, bad for me. Honestly, like there's 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 nothing he can do. Like, the only thing I think you can do for this man is like give him a whole revamp of a character. Yeah, and 205 Life would be the best place for it, to be honest. He could be the Lucha House Party Crasher. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Give him something to do. 
I know him. the boy a bit chunky. He might have to lose some weight, but still. Built this man up. <laughs> Maybe he wants to stay chunky so he doesn't go there. He doesn't get the 205 no. treatment. Don't you just see all these like NXT guys getting fat. I ain't trying to get no 205. <laughs> WWE, I am going to request you one thing. If you put him ever on 205 Live, do not put him back with fucking Kalisto and make Lucha Dragons. I need to know Kalisto is a vacuum of charisma. Like, nothing around him has charisma. Fucks it all up! <laughs> I mean, Sin Cara was quite an interesting character. And they built at the beginning rather nicely. Even after the switch, he was still kind of interesting, I thought. I, I liked his design of a character from the beginning, especially the whole thing with Sin Cara, Azul, and Negro, like the two Sin Caras. Yeah. It was a interesting, like... Th that was that was a throwback, like, Lucha Libre feud. Like, they yeah. do that shit in Mexico all the time. Like, they have the big La Parca and L.A. Park feud that's been happening for, like, 50 years at this point. Like, that's, that's, I don't know. They killed him. Who? Freaking Sin Cara, I think. Oh, Sin Cara. Him entirely. He killed himself. I, I, I mean, they have many superstars that they killed. Yeah. Anyway, we should probably move on. Move on? Why? Because the next match is honestly kind of flame. But Andrade is our boy. But yeah, we all we all expect Andrade to win and yeah. just hopefully move on. Yeah. yeah. Hey Grids, how you feel about Grids Cara? Ah. Uh, Grids Cara. I like him. <laughs> <laughs> Why you like Grids Cara? I don't know. He he flippy. Ah. Uh, <laughs> not not as much flippy. He's a bit chunky. Yeah. He. he I like he, the way he wrestled at the. I forgot what show it was. The 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 greatest Royal Rumble thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was, he, the two moves that he did. Accurate. There, there Those two moves were lit. <laughs> yeah. They uh, were good executed. Nah, sometimes he has to do flip, like flippy to lose weight. <laughs> Alright, so like, That's how you get the workout. We're going to move on to the, I guess, final pre show match, which yep. is New Day versus Sanity, which apparently is a tables match. Yep. On the pre show. And this is another case very similar to Andrade. Why call up Sanity if you ain't really got anything for them to do? Well, well at least they have finally something to do. The <sighs> thing is, I think they're building them. I think, honestly, a whole thing that they're going to do, and I might talk about this more later, is they're going to build Matt and Bray to become like ideal people for them to go against. Uh, the different shows that... Oh, really? It, it, yeah. Yes. Matt and Bray are on Raw and Santa E are on SmackDown. Well, still, they're doing like... That, that could be a survivor, survivor, survivor series. serious thing. No, <laughs> they could do... I think, honestly, they should have put them both on like Raw or SmackDown. But still, oh, no. like... I think they need to do more with sanity because like Andrade like they've done so far with like Sin Cara's whole entire career it seems like except for a little bit uh they are squandering them very hard since they moved for NXT yeah well very much like Andrade they weren't on TV for a very long time yeah longer than Andrade uh, uh, yeah to be honest for most of these uh NXT call ups that happened recently yeah. Like the I authors mean, of pain I as well. Mean, yeah. It, it I don't know. Sucks. It used to be good. Like, the rule for NXT guys used to be we're not calling them up unless we have, like, at least six months' plans for them. But clearly that's changed now. The mindset now seems to be all right, they've done everything they can in NXT. Fuck it. Let's call them up without a plan. Let's throw them to whatever the fuck fits, I guess. Yeah. And it's, it's shit. Yeah. And of course. Honest, to be honest, I would rather want to see Sanity doing in the title scene. Yeah. Like, make it a triple threat match. Bludgeon Brothers, Hell, Hell No, and they. 
the big thing is, of course they put them up against the New Day, because the New Day is literally the tag team that helps build. Yeah, that's the yeah. gatekeeper tag team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, like, Vince is probably sitting there going like, well, there's three of them and three of these guys. Yeah. There's your feud. <laughs> And it's like, think about it. Two skinny guys and a big old fat guy. Two skinny guys and a big old thing of darkness. <laughs> a big old thing of darkness. Big old thing of darkness. <laughs> he just a big old pot of darkness. <laughs> yeah, dude, you look into him and you get summoned by Satan. Like, the thing is, this wouldn't be a bad match slash feud. It's just yeah, it's it's not really been, yeah. It's rushed and it's pretty true. Yeah. They, they could have built this so much better, but then it's just like, hey, I don't like you. I don't like you either. Let's table smash. Like, I'd prefer this on the main card rather yeah. than the B Team Hardy Wyatt. Eh, eh, yeah. eh, yeah. eh, yeah. eh, yeah. nah. I'm, no, I'm sorry, Zach. Like, the B Team's been fun and all, but over the New Day on the main card? Nah. Also, right now, I'm looking at the picture, and all I can see is Kofi looks more in sync with Sanity than with the New Day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he lost his mind after that whole thing with the time machine. I just can't see past the darkness. <laughs> no one can. It's like the looking at a picture of Jay. Uh, the da uh, we talked about how Kalisto is a uh, vacuum for charisma. And Biggie is the son for character. <laughs> yeah, like he's the opposite. <laughs> yeah, he pushes out too much. <laughs> like, he sweats charisma. <laughs> if you see this man, he flexes his muscles. His muscles flex also. It's like, he has so much charisma, it hurts. Uh, oh. Only question is, how many yeets were you getting in this match? Yeet! <laughs> Our demo. Also, I've noticed that they're making demo wear a shirt. <laughs> so, you too fat and hairy, wear a shirt. Hey, it might have worked on us to. Nah. <laughs> we gotta put those boobies on the sensor. <laughs> hey, we PG over here. <laughs> look at look at NXT. They got freaking mates killing each other with like crutches and stuff. Put on a shirt. <laughs> I bet you Vince said that as soon as he got up to the main roster. Hey, I like you too. You, you're too fat. Put on a shirt. Put on a bra too. You're, you're both sacked enough. The thing is, like, since they've been called up and being used on TV, Sanity are already, like, just another team. They're kind of flopping. It, it's, it's not their fault, though. It's They've been booked to lose. No, I'm saying, like, WWE's booked them to flop. Yeah. Also, WWE is so weird with tag teams. They have most of the time run a brilliant start, but then they don't know what to do with tag teams. Maybe my hope is that Sanity e wins this and New Day go on for a storyline where they try and find where the bar went. All I can say right now, I'm really, really, really hurt and have bad flashbacks when I look at Sanity. To what? The Wyatt family. Well, to be yeah. fair, the Wyatt family started out well until they ran into John Cena. Yeah, and then lost and lost and lost mm -hmm. and lost. Like, the first six months or so of the Wyatts was flames. Yeah, and it, then... they could have been really nice dominant faction uh, who could have propelled each one of them but no see, the thing is the Wyatt family and I think Sanity will have the same effect they're like a sword that over time dulls you hit it up against something and it keeps chipping away at it until parts of it break off and I'm hoping when you go demon uh, yeah but the thing is if if you have a chip in your sword you Try to freshen it up like a blacksmith. So, don't do everything the same. Change it a little bit up. I mean, it worked with the new day. <sighs> but in a different context, naturally, but still. They're still the same, but 
ever since like the changing it up. Yeah. Do you think we're building to Sanity versus the Bludgeons? Possibly. Like they kind of teased it on SmackDown this past week. Yeah. If we're gonna get it, they need. I. I now that like, you say it, that, if they're if they are building to Sanity versus the Bludgeons, then in this match, Sanity have to click the destruct button and destroy the new day. I can see kind of why they're being thrown against gatekeepers right now. WWE's kind of testing the waters of like, ah, oh, we brought them up from next to let's put them up against New Day to make sure that they actually work on TV. <sighs> yeah. Also, what is wrong with Alexander? I don't know. On... Is he on anything right now? On that picture, at least. <laughs> hey, leave leave the special German alone. He's even in vegan German, so he is friends with Daniel, probably. <laughs> Here I. Well, what? <laughs> Any last words? I, I hope, hope that Vanity destroys the demon. I hope Sanity hit the destruct the rights button. They must the destruct. Uh, so, well, that's the pre show. So, who do you think is going to open the show? Like, the yeah, actual pay per view? I, I think. Jeff Hardy Shinsuke is a good opener. I agree with that. That's yeah. I, that's actually the picture I have lined up. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or I would say like Ben and Baron. No, because like Baron is kind of like Kalisto. He's a vacuum of charisma. <laughs> the only other thing that I could see would be Dolph and Seth. Oh, as hell as no. And it types up the crowd. Bro, no, no, I just dis no, I disagree. I, that does not hype up the crowd, because in an Iron Man match you start slow. Oh yeah, start slow, you I pick forgot. Up. I forgot it was an Iron Man match. Yeah, about to yeah. say thirty fucking minutes of Dolph, Drew, and Seth. Yo, did it McIntyre? I'm listening to his theme right now on loop. Did it McIntyre? Did So we got Hardy Nakamura on screen. Look at Shinsuke. His okay, ugly then. old ass. Uh, I are we all kind of? I feel like we're all in consensus on this one. Yeah, because I... it it is already known that Jeff Hardy is fighting off against lingering injuries. And his meth addiction. <laughs> he is Probably. a beast. <laughs> I mean, if you have problems to grab and feel the fingertips, it's bad. Yeah, I think they move it over to Nakamura. This is this is Shinsuke's consolation prize for being fed to AJ for half the year. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, before he was fed to AJ, he was fed to your uncle. Yeah, that's true. Accurate. But that was that was a deserving meal. Huh. Could have been the other way around. False. No, no. Shinsuke is nowhere near. Is good in the ring or as charismatic as Uncle Ginger. As Ginger would say, nah, namaste. Yeah, exactly. He would agree. I mean, namaste is in like, nah, I'm gonna stay with my opinion. Fuck you. Nah. Shinsuke ain't shit. No, not compared to Uncle Ginger. Ginger is just a beeped up version of a man that was once in 3MB. Okay. Shinsuke is a guy that used to work in Japanese bingo halls. Let him go back to bingo hall. <laughs> Fuck, go back. So yeah, because Jeff Hardy needs to heal up a little bit, and they don't want the mid card to disappear like the Universal Championship. <laughs> Acker, uh... I have a question. What? Where's Randy Orton? Uh, he um, he's, he's taking vacation with family. He got injured and then from he's healed up, but he's taking vacation. Oh, well, hello stream. Hello stream. We went over pre-show matches, so we haven't missed much. Which which two pre-show matches? Uh, Andrade, see Anonymous and Sankari, New Day versus Sanity. Andrade, Sanity with Nikki Cross coming, joining Sanity to help him win. Shit like that ain't happening on pre-show. Oh, it is. I'm sorry. There, there's no reason for Nikki to come out. That would be oh, really? low-key something they either do on a SmackDown or low-key just like 
in an actual okay card event. Or maybe we see sanity again in this pay-per-view. That's that's also a thing. Anyway, we're on um Shinsuke think, Hardy right now. I think that's the problem. Hello, so, so, so. brilliant burrito. Hello, burrito. That's a problem we're going to be running to a lot lately. A lot of people who should not be on pre-show are going to be on pre-show. Because it's double branded now, so... Uh. Yeah, that's why I preferred, like, the whole single branded pay-per-views. Because, like, low-card feuds got a chance to shine. Yeah. <clears throat> like, Santa E versus New Day would be a hyped-up match on a SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not on a show, but that has its reason. A very good reason, which we'll get to. Um. All right, Khan, just talk about Shinsuke Hardy. Um, I don't know how this match is gonna go because Hardy's. I would. I wouldn't be mad if Hardy dropped and left TV for a while just to let himself heal and inject himself. <laughs> that too. Get off himself heal up, give Shinsuke the title because Heel Shinsuke is good. I like Heel Shinsuke, but if we're like, thinking about long term, even the, I think Shinsuke wins it because I think long term we got more feuds going with Shinsuke. We can get more feuds out of Shinsuke than Jeff, in my opinion. Okay, I have a question. Then. Mm-hmm. If we give it to Shinsuke, because no doubtably I think they're going to. Mm-hmm. Who does he go on to feud with next? Um. Well, he still stays heel, so he can yeah. be a baby face. Yeah, hmm. that he can. The the baby face side on SmackDown's weak. Yeah. yeah. Very weak. Like, is that when you bring Randy back? Oh no, Randy Shinsuke again? No. What, what do haven't. you mean again? We haven't really had it. And did yes, we? we have? Not yeah. not not majorly. Okay, okay. Not like an actual feud feud. We've seen it, but we haven't, like, got a feud of it. It was just, like, that, here, here's two cool guys on SmackDown Wrestling. Wait, okay, let's go to the baby face on SmackDown. You have AJ. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the end. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, I know Shinsuke's going to next feud is. I actually do. Mid tier. I know, I know Shinsuke's going to next feud is when he was his idol. Who? Daniel Bryan. No, it's not. Hell no. It's yeah, not. It no, no, it's they not. Squander that shit. Wait. No, Daniel's next feud is either Kane or Miz. But the thing it, is, it's going to be the Miz. Thing is, the thing is, realistically, what the babies you give it? I, I I have something out of left field. Or, I think if I do agree with all of you, Shinsuke should win just because it's like we're sorry for fucking you over the last year and not letting you win the main belt. So here, um, but I I feel like he could feud with Big E. Big E. Yeah. Actually, I'm not mad about that because it, it, I've always said this: the three members of New Day, good by themselves as well as individual stars, they're good. They're not. Yeah, they're and hard, but they're, there's. They're mid-hard. Like, once they're done with this whole sanity thing, which honestly I think is just for this pay-per-view, there's nothing really left for them in a tag division. Like, bludgeons have beaten them, so they can't go back to them already. And they've wanted to try and push them as singles for a while. Like, Xavier was in that tournament. Kofi was in Money in the Bank, things like that. So I think this is the time. You don't break them up, but, like, you just have Big E chase something. Give each one of them their shine. Kofi had not, not even all of them get something to do. Just one of them, like, because no, obviously no. the others will be there. No, no, I meant like you know how they had Xavier like, in tournament, other two back them up. Kofi had money in the bank. Yeah, exactly, like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, Thing is, I that, disagree. Why? I wouldn't give him Big E. You would go Kofi. I would give him either Xavier or Kofi. Why? Because realistically. I could see them giving Xavier with Shinsuke. Like, <clears throat> I guess it oh. could be said that Xavier is a better mouthpiece than Big E would be. 
Hey, hey, no, we no, we literally just talked about this. Biggie sweats charisma, Zach. I mean, yeah. he just needs one shake from his hips, and everyone like is just fascinated. yeah. Just imagine promos between Biggie and Nakamura. Like, I guarantee you, no word would have to be said. Yeah, I, I can't imagine that. Um, and and the thing is, like, even though it might be Biggie in the match, there's nothing stopping the other two doing the promo. Yeah. Like, that's the whole point. Like, if if Kofi was in a match, I'm sure Xavier would come out and talk shit, and vice versa. Um, but you know what? I have a weird idea. What? What's that? Uh, well, it kind of hangs together with uh, a match later on, but what about? That match uh, of Rusev is so good that they decide to turn him and make him the contender. Uh, I don't think they'd go back to Rusev Nakamura because we got it before Mania. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Then maybe mm -hmm. if. The, well, now that I'm looking at the card, there is another potential person I'm seeing. Who? Finn. Who? Finn. Finn's on Raw. Yeah. They, eh. Old Finn over to SmackDown. Fuck no, that's not how it works, Zach. Eh? Hey, double, double, you can do. In my opinion, if... wait, is Baron and Finn on the card? Yes. yes. Oh. Um. Well, the are the Usos did not doing anything. Uh, not currently. No, the Usos aren't doing shit. Mm. So that could decide that one of them. No hell no. Mm mm. Neither of them is getting a singles push. Like, remember when one of them was injured, the other one got commentary duty. Yeah. Uh, I, I was like, I was like, as the Usos only—they're good as a team. I, 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 I still think they're the best tag team in the world. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, I have one weird suggestion, but I think he will be only fodder for Shinsuke. <clears throat> Ty Dillinger. If 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 Shinsuke is getting a filler feud, I can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Like I mean, if, if you were, <coughs> excuse me. Established a few more baby faces. If you think back, like I think two years ago, like right after the the draft, um, Miz was on SmackDown with the IC belt, and SummerSlam he got a filler feud. It was Apollo Cruz. Like, we could just do the same thing. Just be like, all right, Ty, like, you got called up. We've not done shit. Here's your reward. SummerSlam, Shinsuke. And that's it. I can see it happening. I was going to say Tyler Breeze, but I forgot he's on Raw now. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know. And T will do nothing oh. right now because his partner the, is in Yeah, like, well, yeah that, that's why I thought of Tyler Breeze because he's alone right now. I have I have a really weird idea that could work. That, uh, that, sorry, that, that, on you go. I was like, since they're dual branded now, what if they do the whole hey, we we will let you fight our champion if you win, you come to our brand. That's nah. I, no, the, if anything, they're only going to do that shit for like Survivor Series and Mania. Oh. That's it. Also, especially now that they uh, have a deal with Fox soon with SmackDown, they're trying yeah. to separate the brands. Yeah. That's true. They're gonna yeah. they're gonna keep them completely separate, other than like Survivor Series. Mm. So yeah, maybe something in Mania. Next year? And yeah, maybe Mania. What sorry, conscious? So we're gonna go back to the old brand pay per views. I mean, no, 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 no. I think the pay per views will stay the same, but yeah. to differentiate between Fox and USA. The brands themselves will be completely split. Like, there will be no interaction. Yeah, Unless, like, a star it. from one show is coming to the other. Oh, well, yeah, other than a draft, that's about it. No, not even that. Up. Like, if, what say, for instance, if they were like, okay, I'm just going to use Finn as an example. If Finn had a whole storyline, oh, I'm tired of fucking fighting people on Raw. It's stupid. Like, the whole thing that happened. And uh, Sammy went between SmackDown and Raw. Will they, will they do the whole invasion storyline again where it's like, oh, it's time for Survivor Series. My, my brands will come invade yours and take them out, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I don't think they'll do that this year, but I can 100% see that next year. Yeah. 
when the uh, the switch actually happens to Fox. Just, just to promote. Just hey, for for ratings. Yeah, for yeah, Fox. Yeah. Yeah, we have. Oh, this happened on. Oh, tune in tomorrow night on for Fox Sports One to see what happens. Blah blah blah. Mhm. Mm anyway. So. We all in agreement that Shinsuke should and probably will win, but we honestly can't think where he goes from here. Yep. They'll get yeah. a filler feud until summer. So it'll be like, either Randy gets the phone call of, hey, come back, we need you, or it's someone like Ty or Big E or one of the New Day. Yeah. I, I was going to say Joe, but I think Joe is going on to bigger and better things. Yeah. Or, or the obvious one. Hey, Jeff has his rematch. Build up for a rematch at SummerSlam. I yeah. think Je I think Jeff go away. Jeff go away for a while. Sure. Un unless they're adamant about having the name Jeff Hardy as part of their SummerSlam card, which honestly, like, I wouldn't put it past them. Like, I can see Vince and everyone else being like, "Hey, it's like just one more month, work through the the sore." <laughs> and little you can have a good long break. Mhm. Mm then you can go back to the Hardy compound and shoot up. <laughs> for meth hardy uh, uh, what will be then the next match on the card conscious Zack input what, 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 cards, what matches do we have left I ain't listing like 18 matches you wanna go Finn Baron yeah sure yeah a non-title match to break it up a little bit Look at this disgusting picture. Disgust. <laughs> All I can say boss. is both of them look disgusting. Accurate. Also, why did they make Finn look taller than Baron in this picture? <laughs> I don't know. Ah, Finn in his thick ass smile. Alright. Who wants to say what? Finn's winning. Uh, there's no Finn's 100% winning. winning. Don't why? Know. Why? Don't just say that. Why? No, I will give you a reason why. They will... I don't understand what they, they would mean. rather push Finn than they would Baron. I don't know. I disagree. I what disagree the... as well. What the fuck is the whole. Literally, they give it Baron Corbin the Corbin Kane treatment. Yeah, the thing is. Think... And honestly, I'm enjoying Baron a lot more now that he has yeah. his gimmick. He's actually a little bit funny. Like when he gets promo time. And he's been kind of delivering in the ring as well. Okay. Can, yeah. can I? Okay. Okay. So. Okay. I'll say this. I see Finn winning. If Finn's, I, I see Baron winning on one one case and one case only. And th this is my this is my thought process behind it. If Baron wins, I because in, I think the next big switch. Per between brands will be after Summerslam, correct? Uh, no. Nothing's been announced or well, rumored. Well, well, I would guess it'll be after. It's usually after the big four. The, no, so. no, that's not true. There's no switch between brands other than the the shakeup, which happens once a year. The only other right. things that happen are the the call ups. NXT. Uh, I don't want to do this because I think. I think you let Finn lose for one case and one case only. Should I think Finn should leave? Leave Raw, in my opinion. Because I have a lot more, um, a lot more feuds I would like to see Finn do on SmackDown than Raw, in my opinion. So Finn loses Finn since Finn lost, have him switch over to Raw. I mean, SmackDown, sorry. I don't. I don't think anyone's switching anytime soon. Okay. Like they can If they were gonna switch Finn, they would have done it at the actual shakeup. But they clearly have nothing for Finn, either on either brand. Like, I think the only reason Finn's still around, to be honest, is because he's Triple H's pet project. Yeah. He's what? Triple H's what? He's, pet his pet project. Oh. Same with Bobby Roode. Like, both of them are just kind of there. 
So have them both. So you think if they weren't here, they would just go back like in JPW, whatever, ROH, whatever. No, I'm I'm perfectly happy. I'm like I'm I'm assuming both of them are happy. Like just because they're not being like main eventing everything doesn't mean you're not happy. Like yeah. not everyone has an ego. Like think about it, conscious. They have a secure job, secure money, and they're like names worldwide. Yeah, like, okay. like, just because you're not main event doesn't mean, like, oh, I deserve better. I'm a jackass. Like, if you go into WWE with that mentali- mentali- mentality, you won't survive. Yeah. <laughs> like, you will be, like, shot down in flames immediately. <laughs> and honestly, yeah. Finn has done nothing to earn his spot. Yeah. Can, can you name me anything he's done to warrant him being main event? Um, not really, There's no. nothing he's really been booked to do that even goes with it. But uh, you you could say this, you could say the same thing about ninety percent of the roster. Exactly. It's not it's not on WWE all the time to make someone stand out. If you get given twenty minutes every week on Raw, that's on you to stand out. The biggest thing I think about it is I'm gonna be full honest. I think Finn. Valor could be potentially a great superstar, but the thing is, he's wandering himself. Ah, uh, putting in any fucking effort. I think it's poor timing. I think the reason Finn doesn't stand out is because he's not amazingly good in the ring compared to everyone else anymore. Honestly, and I know this might sound weird. I think they might have to give him a little bit of a Drew. What do you mean? Goes away for a bit to do other things and then comes back. Uh, I, I personally think more that Ben needs to prove himself a little bit more. Like, um, to be honest, I see him in the mid card, and if he plays it right, he could be like in Shawn Michaels that what his way up from it cut to top yeah like he, he he doesn't work getting skyrocketed no i he needs a potential like, like he's he's build. he's because like i'm not just saying this because he's smaller but like the way you get crowds behind someone like finn is you have them be quote-unquote squandered and get the fans to notice it like it's the daniel bryan effect it's the cm punk effect like, fans like Finn because he's good in the ring, and indie fans like Finn because he's good in the ring. But if they continue to see that, hey, why is he losing to people like Baron and Braun that are bigger than him, they'll start getting behind him, and it'll just snowball into the Daniel Bryan effect. Like, hey, that's our guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's how you book Finn. Like, don't have him be dominant. It doesn't work. See. Yeah. There was a whole thing of, uh, I think one of the biggest, like, best things I saw Finn do when he got caught up to the main card, like, not, well, not simply main card, but, like, main shows, like, Raw and SmackDown, mm-hmm. the higher up, is there was a feud that he had with Bray. Mm-hmm. It had a lot of potential. <laughs> yeah, but look where that went. <laughs> yeah, where it went, but... I remember one specific promo where he was sitting there talking about it was the it was where Finn did the whole thing Bray does to other people. Bray was cutting a promo in the ring. He did a couple of facts and then he starts talking about the legend of like the demon and going on and on. Uh huh. If they want I could see them building him something like that if they want him to be strong instead of just like I guess a fan favorite and build off that. Well, that, that's the thing. You either go the route that I was saying of, like, have them just kind of honestly be a jobber to bigger guys until the fans start getting, like, support behind them. Or you play up the whole demon thing and give him a legitimate blood feud that makes him bring back the demon character, which they've seemingly forgot exists. They've literally oh. just... its It reminds me of one of those YouTube videos. Ten things WWE wants you to forget about Finn Balor. The demon character. Yeah, like... I don't know, like... Obviously, this feud isn't that feud, but, like... No. If they... They should have stuck... Honestly, they should have stuck with the Finn Braun thing. 
and Don Demon Finn versus Braun. Yeah. yeah. But do you let Demon Finn beat Braun? That's the thing. Yeah, because it doesn't hurt Braun. Braun's over as fuck. <laughs> like, Braun right now has what I like to call Jericho heat. No matter what the fuck Jericho does, or wins, or loses, he's fucking over. Yeah. <laughs> it does not matter what that man does. <laughs> Same with Braun right now. Bra everything Braun touches turns to gold. I was like, Braun has heat, but I get what you're saying now. Like, Braun is just a gold mine right now. Yeah. Like, we'll get to his match later. I don't think he'll win his match, but we'll get to that. Thinking about it, like, not even just Braun in general. Think about it. It, it, he really does have that because look what he did with freaking the whole monster in the bank thing. Mm -hmm. If someone like Big Show or like a big guy like that won that, nobody would like they'd have to be a heel, they wouldn't have any kind of face presence at all. And, and Braun's he, like, he is... I am a big guy and I'm flipping this fucking shit on its head. Uh, it, Bra it, Braun, Braun has it, Braun has what people like Finn. Bobby Roode, even AJ, like these indie darlings that want that they don't have, and that's like star appeal. As much as you like them, conscious, they don't have that. I know, I know. As much as I love AJ and think he's amazing in the ring, he just doesn't have like to propel him to like Stone Cold Rock territory. Braun does. Like Braun's already oh. getting there. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Back to boring Finn with his fake ass creepy smile. And Constable Baron Corbin. Yeah. Constable. I I actually think Baron Corbin's winning. I think as well. After the change he needs to win. Yeah. I don't know where they're going with this whole constable thing, but it's clearly going somewhere. I think I think it's building back to authority coming back again. I think, I think that's my honest opinion. I think we're building to the authority again. It logically in my head makes sense. So what's the end game for Baron? Uh, he'll be the authority mid card boy. He'll eventually. Who has that? that that's not an end game though. End game? Like, Is end game like Baron versus Kurt? Maybe. Yeah. And oh uh, yeah. Well, my question would be: Do you see Baron coming in, and well, I'm, I'm, I'm or or do you see them going full on Randy Orton with it and having Triple H back Baron to the point where he's champ? Well, you remember when they were switching when they were switching Baron over to Raw? Remember they were saying that that they have big things planned for Baron. Maybe that is it. Uh. Maybe he he becomes the authority boy, but that requires him being Brock. Do you, you see Baron being Brock? Oh, oh. And oh, oh no, 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 actually false. You don't need Baron being Brock. What you need Baron being um Roman, right? I I don't know. I don't see where the Baron thing's going, but it's going somewhere. I don't know if he's quite ready for that level of I, I main event. Think. They just doing it what they need to do with most of the talent. They're building up characters. Yeah. By the way, uh, Bruno say he disagrees. There's no, there's no, no stand chat. Uh, disagrees yeah, but, with what? Yeah, he said it a long yeah. time ago. I forgot to what he said it. Yeah, what do you, you disagree with Bruno? Uh, probably with freezing as he said he likes Corbin now more than before. I do like Corbin more now. Yeah. The worst, the worst part about this feud is that it's just big cast Daniel Bryan again. Yep. But I'm yep. big, you're small. Yeah. Like, this is the filler feud of filler feuds. <laughs> Honestly, this should have been pre-show. Yeah. But, but it's an Iron Man. Yeah. It's, no. No, this this, this isn't no. This is no, just a regular wrong. match. It should be. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. Like, I like Finn in the ring, character-wise. He's meh, unless he's got a feud he can sink his teeth into, which he hasn't had his entire main roster run, actually. 
Yeah, yeah you, could you, uh, can you remember in NXT his feud with Joe? Exactly, his feud with Joe was really good. In my opinion, you know his best feud so far on the roster? And it only happened if he lasted one night? What? Him versus AJ. Him versus AJ. I, that wasn't even, that wasn't a feud, that was just a match. There was no yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. It, it was just an uh, yeah that because the, uh, the, the yeah movie. Bray had a sore tummy. Uh, I'm also, glad about it. I'm glad that it yeah, happened. Yeah, the Abby Girl Bray, the Drag Queen. Bruh, Bray. I was excited for Drag Queen Demon match. It would have been flames. I was gonna say pumpkin fan. Pumpkin fan was was so bad. <laughs> but yeah, that wasn't a feud conscious. That was just a match. The only good thing, and that was also not a feud, that I could him remember, was right at the beginning, the beginning for the Gondor match for the Universal thing. Yeah. Eh. And that was not a feud. I found it just okay. Favorite thing he's done for me is the the mini feud with Braun. That's how you do big man, little man perfectly. Yeah. Big mini feud with who, sorry? Uh, Finn and Braun's little feud. Oh, where they were like friends. It's like, oh, nope. Not even the friends Fuck. thing, just the fact that it was the, the big man, little man feud done to perfection without even addressing it as the big man, little man feud. Braun. Like, honestly, like, if... Braun ever gets moved or AJ ever gets moved. Braun AJ has <gasps> so much potential. Oh my god, yes. What? <laughs> what? What am I talking about? I'm thinking of a lot, sorry. So what do you think? Where's this match going? Uh, uh, oh, I don't know either way. I want Braun to win. Zach? I think it, I said it could go either way. But I want your prediction. I can't honestly give you 100% on this. But where I does think. where does your brain tell you it's going? It's a 50-50. Because <laughs> you made a good point. Where think, does your heart go? You don't want to know where that goes. Uh, thing is, though, I think, honestly, both sides potentially need to win this like because I think whoever wins this is Loki getting a push from it not so much Finn as in Baron I think Baron would get more of a push from this like a more heel push than I think Finn would get on Facebook. I think Finn loses and transitions into a feud with Mojo Raleigh no uh, you stop I, no way Jose I, thank I, you it, very much. It, it, I think that is not the Bad. No, nope. Hey. No. Nope. <laughs> but that's someone of Finn's caliber. I think that's putting him too low. No, it's not. I, I it's things. elevating him. I hate these things so get, much. Get, nah, get your sarcasm out of here. What do you mean? What you know, no, no, you can. No, 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 no. You legitimately can't sit there and say Finn has more character than Mojo right now. Oh, but well, I actually, think he I has more potential than Mojo would have in any kind of sense. That's false. Mojo has way more potential because Finn is an old man by wrestling standards. I want this to happen because that'll give me one of my three Mojo. <laughs> Yo, semi main event of SummerSlam Finn Mojo. <laughs> Thing is, you'd have to support Mojo. Like, with your heart invested. Fuck it. If it gets one out of the way, because I haven't had one match. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe. <laughs> Was that last year your birthday too? Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's been like two years. <laughs> okay. But so we're kind of split on this. It could go either I way. I don't know what the fuck I want. This game just pissed. This, not this game. This fucking. Game, <laughs> this, this, that match pissed me off. I, I, I Thing know. is, WWE does this a lot. They book themselves matches that are, like, put them in a bad position because both guys need the win. Yeah. Finn definitely needs to win because what the fuck are you doing, Finn? And Baron needs to win because what the fuck are you doing, Baron? Exactly. Fuck. Like, this is why people, no offense to them, but, like, No Way Jose, Bar uh, Mojo Raleigh, like, 
These are why these people need to be built a little and have feuds with people like Baron and Finn so they can be fed to them. <sighs> Ra like rather than have jobbers feud with each other, you 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 elevate them a little and feed them to your actual mid carters. Yeah, yeah, so I think that they kind of do now with uh, Mojo. Yeah, they seem to actually be getting behind Mojo, which I'm fine with. Yeah, yeah. to be honest, after Seal Tubs, they dropped him like. Yeah, I, 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 another another one that. Too much momentum. Another one that I hate to say, but he's not doing shit right now. He could have been fed to someone like Finn, Uncle Jinder. The namaste gimmick. I don't know what they're doing with him either. They 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 should have left him with the stupid Maharaja gimmick. Like have him be mid card fodder for your like upcoming baby faces like Finn and Bobby Roode. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I, I like I like the Maharaja gimmick more than now the one. Mm hmm. It, it was a bad copy of JBL's, but still, it has more potential than this racist bullshit. Sharty. It is kind of racist. It is. As an Indian man, it's kind of racist. Leave Jinder alone, let him worship, let him get his peace. <laughs> he was just trying to namaste. He was just trying to namaste. Leave this Actually, alone. people namaste. people forget that's the gimmick he had when he first came back. Yeah, oh, the, I, re I remember. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. When he very first came back after he left, like that's w that's what his gimmick was. Was the whole I, I went I went to the Himalayas and meditated, like all that shit. And I thought then, it was the whole thing with Kali. No, no, uh, that was when he first came to WWE. I'm talking about like when he got fired, then came back. I didn't know he got fired. No, honestly. Yeah. yeah he he had fired. a... He, after 3MB, he got fired. Did he? How long was he gone? Bro, a wow. year or two? Years. Yeah. Like, it was... It was... It was I, I remember... Um, he got what? fired, I think, 2014, and he was back by 2015. So it wasn't long. I, I, I think he was immediately fired after the, the, the last match of... Uh, he and Drew got... Yeah, him, him and Drew were fired together. I don't know, but he he was he was gone for a while. Yeah, I the last match I remember they had was at WrestleMania 30 in the Andre the Giant, like the first one. Then they were gone. But that moment when when fucking Heath Slater has more tenure in WWE than you, it was bad, man. But that's the thing, like you always need no offense, but like the enhancement talent. We won't call them jobbers, cause that's rude. But enhancement talent. Enhancement talent. You got an enhancement. Ziggler's. <laughs> he's not. He's not enhancement talent. He's he's your like. I'm trying to think of like an older wrestler to compare him to. Hmm. Hmm. He he, he kind of he's the he's the you know what? As mu as much as I hate to say it, he's the own heart. <laughs> Fan fantastic in the ring, always there, always has something to do, but never the guy. Yeah. He, no, Owen Hart was the guy that the guy feuded with. <laughs> Dolph Ziggler is the guy that the guy feuds with. You could, you could apply that logic to Triple H. Triple H was the guy that Austin Rock feuded with. <laughs> Yeah. I don't want to keep talking about <laughs> <laughs> you. Also have like stuff like people like um I would say that that, that that's kind of like um what uh what the face is too right now um uh what's his name Seth I don't think Seth don't um think Seth's name. different because he has potential to be the guy or one of the top guys. It's just right now he's in limbo. Put it this way, all of. Raw's like quote unquote main event talent are kind of in limbo because of the Brock situation. Yeah. Brock's over here just like, oh, she don't. No, but in my, in my opinion, I don't think, um, what's his face? Um, Seth will only be main event in the end. I think he will. I, I think I, one, I, one, one, once like Brock either mm -hmm. finally goes away or is done with the belt, I think that's when we'll see Seth get elevated. 
I, I think. I think that's why he's lost the belt now to Dolph. Yeah. And also, uh, the, the reason why I say that is because I was looking up some uh, looking up stuff. The w, w, uh, also, I think WWE needs something, a little some, a little some extra right now because their ratings are taking a shit right now, really badly. Don't don't worry, SummerSlam will get spikes because bark. Um, but yeah, uh, I noticed Finn and Baron are still on my screen. We're split. Both of them need the win. Both of them have nothing to do after this. Yeah. Who's next? Who do you think's next? Do we have Tyler Tuesday back? Like Cyber board? Sunday, dude. Accurate. Um. Um. Uh, we go on one of the whammon, one of the tag team. <coughs> whammon. Whammon. Which whammon? Uh, the. Oh wait, is Bailey Sasha this? No. Nope. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, we have Carmella Oscar or Alexa Naya. Uh, Carmella Oscar, because that's just a regular match. I said they will save the extreme rules. It's it's here. technically not a regular match. It's got the stip of James Ellsworth in Shark Cage. Yeah. Uh, I think. Don't pull a no on heart. Uh, Stop! Uh, <laughs> oh, do you know what I'm hoping? That he doesn't pull up an Enzo. Oh. Ah, stop it! Oh no! He's good Go back! Go back! Put your clothes back on, James. Hey, what's wrong with James Ellsworth? Everything. Oh, so many things. Oh, I'd do him. You're a liar. Liar to whore. I'd do him. Have you seen that face? Yeah. I'd do him from behind. Stop. I'd do him from behind. James Ellsworth would do you. Anyway, uh. Also, this playlist has Shinsuke's actual theme. Oh, well. Oh, the, the, good, the good one? Uh. The one that gets copyrighted? Yep. Yeah, skip. <laughs> anyway, uh. So, Mela Oscar. Yep. Mela is money. I think they're feeding Oscar to Mela. I, 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 as much as I, I want to, ag as much as I want to agree, I actually think Oscar might win this one. I want Oscar to win, but I think they're feeding her to Mella. I don't because. I, I think I think there's something else for Carmella. I don't know what they're doing with Carmella, but I have to think she she's going on to something past Oscar. That's I, my honesty. well, I'm thinking of it from the the next pay per view SummerSlam standpoint. This is where you do Oscar Charlotte too. I would I would be hyped for that. Um another thing that I'm going to put into the room about this match. What? Are we going to see Iconics in here or not? No. They've had nothing to do with this feud. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't I Iconics are another one that I feel have been squandered already. Yeah. And they had such a great start they, they with Charlotte. They had a weird feud with Becky. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they were doing. But yeah, I think... Oh. Where did Becky go? <laughs> she's she's on SmackDown every week. Like, she's chilling. Yeah. Why is she not in a match? She, she's, she's been feuding with Be the Because Iconics. it's do Brenda. They can't put... No. Names. Actually, I'll, I'll take this opportunity to bring up the fact that we're likely going to get an all whammon pay-per-view. Yeah, I wouldn't I mind that. Too. Oh god. No, I honestly wouldn't mind that. No, 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 I wouldn't mind either. It gives. It gives I'm not against it. Shine, yeah. Yeah. Give, as give chance long for as some. They keep it right. They and give then... it. Uh, the rumor going around is obviously it's because the Saudi Arabia thing and the women didn't get paid, but um, not only will it be like main roster women, it will be NXT women, and apparently some indie women. Dude, that'd be dope. Oh. Apparently. It, when I say, it, but the thing is, I don't think it will be legitimate indie women. I think it will be performance center women. People yeah. People, people that aren't on NXT oh. TV but are technically part of NXT. I think okay. some, I think that would be good because not only would it give some women like place to go, place to do some nice stuff that would get people hyped to watch them, Ooh. but also at the same time it would bring another draw to the you know establishing women's division that's also where you set up and i know they want to do it for horsewomen feud that would be flame 
the I the Ronda's horseman versus technically Charlotte's horseman. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the true that could be a woman versus the fake. Oh, because mm -hmm. I, was, I was gonna say realistically, all all the horsemen from MMA are all signed with WWE or being in a performance center. Correct. Right? Correct. Yeah. They're all under contract. Yeah. Okay, so, yep. Yeah. Another big thing I think they could do that is if they don't want to put it there. Save that for Survivor Series and have it be a woman's Survivor Series match. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not saying do the match at the Whammon pay-per-view. I'm just saying set it up. Then yeah. I'd yeah. say have that straight up at Survivor Series. Have it be yeah, a yeah, yeah. version. Yeah. I'm fine with it. Well, 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 horse women yeah, versus yeah, the yeah, freaking well, no, double double for, Well, you can do 5 on 5 at Sonya Deville in the four horse women of MMA. Would that, would that work? Would that work? What, sorry? Because I was like, uh, Survivor Series would typically have five on five, whatever, right? So do well, you do traditional you Survivor Series is four on four. Is it four on four? Okay. Yeah, they, traditional. They've been adding more people to other things, though. I was going to say, if we're doing five on five, do you add Sonya Deville to the... No, hell no. MMA horsewomen? Cause you don't need to make it five on five. You just do four on four. Simple as that. Okay. Yeah. And is it like first fall or we're doing elimination? Elimination? It has to be elimination because you build up to is it gonna be Ronda Charlotte one on one at the end? Then you don't get Ronda Charlotte, and it builds hype for Mania. Yeah, sir. Like build to like Ronda Becky or some shit. For <laughs> for Becky. Poor yeah, Becky. feed Becky. I don't give a fuck. Becky, Becky no. <laughs> or Becky. Or, or no. Sasha because Sasha. Or Sasha, is, yeah. It, it, Sasha she is will one... sell everything. She will sell her. She will sell that. Sasha money. will literally sell herself to death. She will sell the hip toss and break her neck doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I'm dead. Anyway, I just wanted to bring that up because it's cool news and I'm actually interested to see how it would do. But uh, back to Carmela Asuka. I I, I really I, want I, that. I think Carmela wins. I I think Carmela wins as well. I'm sorry. Do you not think? Do you not think at this point though it would hurt Asuka too much because she's lost three times now? This would be the fourth if she loses again. Uh, Okay, At all I can point? say is they kind of did the same. They kind of did, yeah, I can see that, that they did kind of do the same treatment with Shinsuke because they didn't really know what to do with him. Shinsuke didn't have an aura about him though. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he wasn't, he wasn't come. yeah, he wasn't coming in like undefeated, unstoppable. He was just coming in as Japanese guy. Asuka came in with an aura of I'm unstoppable and I think if you have Carmella beat her again like all any type of like aura atmosphere Asuka gone, has is gone if Asuka loses it's not, it's not even going to be close to being clean it doesn't matter if it's clean or not because during the whole streak thing she overcame shit like that not even just that, but also at the same time, think about how big her whole entire thing of, oh, look, my whole entire fucking I'm undefeated streak. Person she lost to, she still looks strong losing. It's also, if, if she if she loses to, like, interference or Ellsworth doing something, at this point, because she's already lost to shit like that, it just makes her look like a dumbass. It makes her look weak and stupid. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like, oh, okay. funny Japanese, you know, no speak <laughs> English. Yeah, <laughs> Are your eyes not open enough? <laughs> <laughs> you mean how stupid AJ looked for each and every dick punch? Exactly. Yeah. Bro, buy a cup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still upset they wasted AJ and Shinsuke with a dick, a dick kicking back to the fucking dick, man. Double, double, uh, Amy, what are you That doing? reminded me so much on South Park with the, 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 the game that Cartman did, the, the, what was it again? He did it only one episode. Uh, you kick, I kick you into the boards if you don't fall, or you kick me in the boards. And the one the standing is the winner or something like that. I have no memory of this. Poor AJ Shinsuke. Y'all supposed to be two of the greatest in these towns all the time. Get get caught up dick dick kicking match. Alright. It could have been great and then it's just like, hey, hey. I'm gonna break your balls. I'm gonna kick you in the nuts. I'm gonna kick you in the nuts. I'm gonna get That's you. so much potential, but they're just like, how about no? 
Nice shots. But yeah, uh, I need a cigarette, but I'm gonna let you guys continue talking about this But my standpoint is SummerSlam is the next pay-per-view. It's the second biggest show of the year You don't go in with Mela as your champ. You go in big guns blazing. You you do Oscar Charlotte, too Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't some wouldn't Royal be bigger than that? You know what I mean? No, in, in WWE's own eyes, SummerSlam's their second biggest Yeah Over uh, but yeah, I, I think now, Eva, okay, you pull the trigger now, because if Asuka loses again, she just looks terrible, and honestly, if she loses by dirty tactics, she looks like a fucking dumbass. And all mystique in Aura is dead, Asuka is just another one of the girls. So you pull the trigger now, have her destroy Carmella and Ellsworth, because fuck it, why not? Bring Charlotte back from whatever boob job she's getting, and have them have the rematch. Not just that, I think, honestly. I'll be right back. Okay, I think they need to keep Asuka the same way that they keep Ronda. Not as in, like, one match per month or whatever at pay-per-view. But I think they need to give her the same kind of aura and build her up as in, like, Hey, this isn't someone you fuck with. I, I think they need to keep her like that instead I, I, of just being like, this is We're literally throwing one of our greatest people to someone just so they can look okay. I agree with V-Sing, and I want it, I've wanted it to be like that. I've wanted Asuka to win. I wanted her to beat fucking, what's her face, uh, Charlotte at WrestleMania, but I'm okay with her losing that. I think, I think the reason why she didn't beat it, because they're, they make it, uh, make her, make it, uh, Charlotte look strong for her, a uh, potential Ronda match. Uh, um... Yeah, I, I I googled right now the thing with South Park that I talked about it. Um, um yeah, uh, in South Park, uh, uh, he called it uh, Rochambeau or Rochambeau. something. That's uh, yeah, yeah, and basically that's what kids get. And AJ did. I have. Uh, thing is, I still. How about you? Might not have heard about it. Like what? What I said while you were going outside. But uh, I think they need to give Oscar the whole Ronda treatment. Keep her strong, but not have her be like, yo, one month, uh, one match per month at a pay per view. They need to keep her strong and give her the same aura, give her the same kind of strength and feel instead of just blowing her off with Mela. I think and, they've been kind of squandering her, having her lose to Mela. It makes her look weak and stupid. It, it, it. But do you think that Ellsworth will have a uh, spot like, you know, that he throws something when into he... the ring or drops oh. out of the cage? Oh, yeah, or... for sure. I for think sure. he definitely will, and Asuka will beat the shit out of him and beat the shit out of Mela. I think she needs to have that whole same strength that she had during her undefeated streak. Not more saying likely, bring it more back. More likely Carmella's gonna hit her with that with that kick of her with that with that kick, with the with the thrust kick of hers, and we're gonna get Asuka kick out of it this time. I think Carmella has been good as a champ, but there's only so much you can do with her. She's already beaten Charlotte. And if she beats Asuka, there's not much left for her. That's true. I think, big thing, I don't even see... I, I know this is rude, but I don't... Char okay, Carmella, I don't think right now she needs to be champion. If anything, we need someone who... Like V-Sing said, if you go into the next big pay-per-view and Mela's your women's champion, something's wrong. It's going to be hella weak, and they want to keep their women division strong. Yeah, I think if they have Asuka lose again, it's kind of fucked. Also, Lana. <laughs> That'd oh, kind of be huh. funny, Carmella versus Lana. Oh god. And have Rusev backing her, or like Aiden English, yes. compared to freaking uh, James Ellsworth. <laughs> 
It's Lana Day. Lana Day. Yeah. Man, uh, right now I could really imagine that. I could see that. The thing yeah. is, I, I want my Oscar, Charlotte, to have brought it up, and I am over here shook that I did not think of this. I want my baby. She won me. She's won me money before. She. I have bought her merchandise. I even have her autograph. In the words of many people, "Gimme, gimme, gimme my baby with that title." So, uh, any comments? Uh, no, no, we, we gotta kind of stall. So, if you think it's nice, I can change the image for the next match. But where we go from? So if we if Oscar does does let me play devil, devil's advocate. If Oscar loses, eh, yeah. what does Carmella do? Does Charlotte come back and take the take the title from Carmella? That'll make Charlotte look. Wait, that'll be weird. Because that would give us give us something like Charlotte and Oscar too, where Charlotte is the one that loses to Oscar. Oh yeah, yeah. If Asuka Charlotte two is the plan for SummerSlam, Asuka's going over yeah. because then you set up the rubber match, which I think they should save and have that be like Hell in a Cell or something. Yeah. And I know I brought it up as a joke in the chat, but Lana, right? You guys mentioned it for the secondary, I guess, whammon feud on SmackDown. There's no reason you can't do Carmella with Ellsworth versus Lana with Aiden. Yeah, yeah, I think honestly it, that I would be kind of fun. Yeah. It would, it would be fun. And but, they could have the whole thing melody, like as a joke. Yeah, I, I would actually be happy to watch that. I, I'm like, I'm actually excited for that potential <laughs> now. <laughs> it's melody. She does like a fucking moonwalk. Yeah, like just imagine Ellsworth coming out and doing the <coughs> and starting trying to sing like Aiden. That'd be funny. It Aiden's would work. Here. He would watch it and fucking just all you'd hear is Exactly. I see money in this feud. <laughs> I see money as See, well. big thing, if Mela loses, Mela's still kind of money. <laughs> exactly. She's oh, been I good see. as champ. She's good on the mic. Yeah. But now it's Asuka's time. It is Asuka's time. Give she's gone way... She, yeah, she's gone way too long on the main roster without a belt. Honestly, if... Again, uh, like I said with the whole Brock thing, like kind of fucking over a lot of the talent on Raw, I think the fact that they signed Ronda fucked over Asuka big time. It did. Because if Ronda didn't sign, I guarantee you Asuka would be champ right now is still undefeated. Yeah. Because there's nowhere for, like, Charlotte to go, if you know what I mean. But they clearly have their sights set on Charlotte Ronda, so they had to feed Ask up to Charlotte to keep Charlotte strong for that. But yeah, I think it's Asuka's time. Yes, it's tomorrow. Uh, yes, it is. Also, thank you. Uh, welcome to stream. Ox Dino, I think it's how you say your name. Ox Dino. That's how I read it. Welcome to stream. Welcome to stream. I'm going yeah, to um, if, if you're new here, Ox Dino, or however you like us to pronounce it, we do wrestling predictions before every major pay per view, or we try to. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, sometimes there's like backlash. It's like, eh, and we skip it. Also, shameless plug, but not shameless plug because this is our own stream. Uh, we have not only one YouTube channel, but two. Two. two yeah. We have one where gameplay and just regular stuff go, and also we have the Nest Reacts, which is brand new. It's kind of our baby right now, and. Uh, we are reacting to things like the old classic Spider-Man cartoon, Sherlock, and also My Hero. Uh, if you're into anime, My Hero Academia. Oh, yeah. just a rea it's just a reaction channel we started up for fun. So if you're willing to subscribe, uh, Zach will post links. I will. I hope. Thank you. Also, UK Stina? Are you from the UK, apparently? <laughs> uh, you one of my people? Or, are you, wait, are you Scotland or England, Wales, Northern Ireland? Let me know. <laughs> Depending on where you are, you might or might not be my friend. This is Nestor Maybe he's even American and just has that name. 
that Maybe. way. Maybe. get messed. Uh, but yeah, uh, so we all in agreement. Well, no, because some some people thought Carmella's winning, or no. I was just being devil, devil's advocate. For all. Uh, UK's Dino. Uh, he says, "I'm sorry, I still love wrestling. I'm 30 now. I watched it since I was three. I really want to add Jadera back. I'm 20. I'm 28. Demon is 29. Yeah. Yep. We still watch wrestling. We still love it. Half Scottish, half England. I like the half of you that's Scottish." <laughs> I'm, 20, I'm 23, and I've been watching wrestling since I was like born, and I watch it like he's a, a lot. he's Scottish Indian. No. Oh uh, yeah, I'm I'm Scottish Indian. Well, I'm Scottish, but I have Indian descent. Yeah, you're Scottish. I'm Scottish. Drew McIntyre. Yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, we moving on from Oscar Carmella. Yeah. They we have tomorrow. These are tomorrow, back. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming we're going one of the tag teams. I would oh, say, yeah. yeah. yeah I'd say, uh, yeah. B-team Hardy. B-team B- Hardy. B-team. Yeah. yeah. I got my money on B-team. I want B-team to win. I, will, I, 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 I feel like the B-team is just... An, an, an uh, I think I fucked up some live editing there. Uh, I want the B-team to win. I want them to win. I'm going to... Yo, look, I'm sliding these bars all around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, what what's happening with this? <laughs> I, I want B team to win. Okay, ex- explain your tale. Yes. Okay. I, I, in my opinion, uh, Curse Axel and Bo Dallas, they've been on the roster for some time now. Bo Dallas got pulled up when they first did the shake up, right? Uh, Bo Dallas was called up in 2014 before the brand split. Uh, okay. Nicholas McCormick. So, and, Nicholas and, McCormick, uh, <laughs> and, um, very Scottish boy. Um, what's it called? Uh, Curse Axel has been here since next day, so. And I, I think they both they both been that Nick Hart thing in limbo, blah, blah blah blah. And the broken the broken universe is cool and everything, but I think that can only go so far. I think it's they, it's time. It's, it, uh, it's it, I think the B team should win. Especially, I, I want to just point out something. They have like the simplest shirts in the fucking world. Yeah, but it's it's like fantastic. Hot, they are they, selling like hotcakes. I'll I'll be I honest. Want a shirt. I'll want be honest. One. Remember back uh, towards when we were doing the whole GM mode thing. Yeah. yeah. This is what I was setting up to. Oh, we could tell. We knew. It, it was obvious, yeah. but like the B team. I didn't want them to necessarily be the B team. I had a whole thing planned of where Bray and Bo Dallas kind of went off their own thing and had a one on one where like Bo Dallas couldn't find anyone to lead him, so he went to Sister Abigail, that kind of thing. It like Will came up with it and helped me, but honestly, I I stand by what I said. I see full potential in the whole entirety of. Oh, Dallas and Curtis Axel, because uh, I don't... UK, think... UK's Dino says he loves the whole Wyatt Hardy storyline right now. Yeah. I, I think it's okay. Like, but I, I like the B-team a lot. I don't know what it is about the B-team. I really like them a lot. I'm tired of the B-team. They've been, I wouldn't say squandered, but they, they've been fed to so many they, people they, as they, enhancement talent. They've been like, they, they were the Mrs. Escorts for a while, and like, now the Mrs. is over, gone. I think it's their time. Their time They've been time. everywhere. They, they do their own thing. Don't forget, before they were uh, the Mrs. Taraj, they were attacking beforehand. Yeah. With the the yeah. really aggressive Curtis and still the little bit burly. So. I, d- I think this is their time. Yeah, I, 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 I am a big fan of the B team. I, I am, am a big fan, a fan of the B team. But uh, we still have a looming shadow over them. That is? The revival? That could be the next person, like the next team they viewed with. Yeah, but... Yeah. It's it's kind of unknown though. Are they considered faces or heels or what? Who, the B team? Ooh, the yeah. No, the, the, the B team. The B team are fa- hell of face. No, 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 they're, they're very face. Yeah. Have you seen their, like, 
reaction and stuff with the I crowd feel, after they uh, win their matches. Yeah, but the, the reactions look, look, with the crowd does no, not mean no, jack no, no. shit Wait. with... Yeah, like, R- Rusev gets um, that kind of reaction. He's still a heel. Hold on. Last week set up who's the face and the heels in this. In this, Because last week, the B-team won again. Uh, and, and on a regular, another singles match, B-team won again. But got attacked by G- uh, Matt and Bray. Uh, sorry, uh, thank you for following UK's Dino. We appreciate it. Thanks, bro. You loyal. Uh, but yeah, you could... I don't think the Revival is the next step. No, I think. I think uh, both. There's still potential. Well, I think they kind of hinted at that because didn't they watch the match between... They did. I don't know. But that like, just means that they could potentially be going after Bray and Matt. Yeah, yeah it, could, it could be like B team could win and move, move on to a different feud while Matt and Bray feud with the Revival. Maybe the Revival gets a Revival. Oh, <laughs> uh, God. <laughs> I need one. I need one. I, I, I want my B team. I want the, the B team to move up to the A team. I do feel like B-team are winning purely for the reason of being fed to the Authors of Pain. That, that's fair. That's also fair. And it would give them the deserving title that they kind of deserve. Yeah, after. like, I feel like if they win, it's like, kind of like Shinsuke with the US, it's like, thank you for all your years of service. Like. Here you go, brothers. <laughs> what they did with um, Heath Slater. is like, oh, here's a team of Yeah, have a little thing. Yeah, like, yeah. thanks, dude. It's like, eh. We still like, like people people team. forget Bo Dallas was like NXT champion yeah, for like a NXT year champion. Yeah. he had his whole entire thing going then he's like he comes up to the main card Bo Dave and he gets squashed by everyone including Brock hey <laughs> Brock smash Bro, Bork broke him clotheslined him and he did backflip and died died and became Bo Dallas from BK Bam. So what, we all want B-Team to win? Yes. Yeah? Uh, I, 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 I go against the thing and say, let, let Hardy win with Wyatt. And where do you go from there? Uh, well, I am not sure. The tag team division in WWE is so weird. Well, no, the SmackDown's tag division's kind of nice. Raw, on the other hand, is a mess. Yeah. It. it... I really don't know. To be honest, the, 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 the perfect combination would be Sanity, but they're on SmackDown. That would be kind of hype. I'm not even going to lie. And. Matt and Bray versus Sanity. Well, if you think about it, the only realistic challengers for either team are the Revival or Authors of Pain. Unless yeah. I'm forget. Well, because they're not going to do Titus Worldwide again. Uh, Heath and Rhino are just kind of there. They're not going to get pushed anytime soon. Yeah. Who else? Ascension are dead in the war. Uh, Fandango's injured. He's gonna be out for a while. Yeah, like that's it, right? Is there any overtake teams? Oh, oh, I am not sure. I think that's it. Cause wait, does Goldust have a partner right now? What's he doing? No, he does not. I right, bring up Velveteen Dream. <laughs> Demon, let us know. I, 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 I <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, if they wanted to go for double gold and we have an extended uh, Dolph Ziggler to a man party. I, I'll get to that. I don't think that's where we're going. I, uh, I, I know where we're getting to <laughs> and uh, maybe yeah. the return of Jason Jordan. That's kind of... Yeah, that, that was rumored months ago, but well, nothing yeah. happened. Yeah, like... Chad Gable. <laughs> Chad Gable disappeared. Jason Jordan, I forgot they have him under contract. I don't know. He's both. He, he gonna come out as soon as it's over. It's just like, hey, <clears throat> man. I'm a breather, man. 
Uh, uh, do you go, like, since these people have nothing to do, do you stick Finn and Bobby Roode together, or...? I wouldn't um, even say that. Wait, wait, wait. Bobby? Is he in SmackDown? Uh, Bobby's on Raw now. I, I, okay. I, 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 I forgot. Exactly. There's there's one thing I can see with that. You know. Oh, d yeah, he is on Raw. I remember. He got beaten on a hell show by Mojo Rawley. Where, where, where are my good <laughs> brothers at? They're on SmackDown. They need to come to Raw. And, if They've gonna been on Raw. <laughs> No, no, no. Nah, if if there anything's gonna happen with Finn in the tag team division, they're gonna stick him with them, and it's I don't think it's gonna happen. No, they they're chilling on SmackDown. They're not coming back anytime soon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it isn't gonna happen with Finn being in there. Finn and Bobby would kind of be weird. Well, they've already had matches together as a team. Yeah, but. Uh... I don't know. This is this is Raw tag division is just weird. Flat Where's out. the bar at, Loki? Smackdown somewhere. Yeah. Um, should we move on? Because this, this match is kind of a mess. Yeah. yeah. Alright, who we got next? Iron Man match? Yeah, I would say so. Right there. You want to go Iron Man next? It, it's 30 it, minutes, it, so they it, need it, a time filler. It, it is nice in the middle. Yeah, fucking 30 minutes. I, I actually really like this match. <laughs> Not even gonna like lie. I like everybody in it. Did I drop some teeth? No. No, no. Everybody got quiet. Hey, I don't know where my slide is for the Iron Man <laughs> match. Uh, there, no, no, that's Carmela Asuka. I, I see big. There you go. Uh, I see big potential for this of, I'm gonna be honest, I see if, is this going one of two ways? If Dolph wins a title, fighting Drew. Yeah. I, I see him and Drew fighting over like, oh, we're technically quote unquote the Intercontinental Champion. I want my turn. Mom said it's we my turn with the Xbox. Which one turns? Like, that's the thing. Which one is the good guy? Which one's the bad guy? I think Matt Kintyre might be Buddy the bad guy. Buddy joined your channel. Nah, nah. I seem more like the good guy in this feud. Both of these we... guys are potential to... Like, if you put Drew and Dolph, both of them have the potential to be either face or heel. The thing is, who would be a better crowd pleaser? What, and, like a crowd pleasing like, face? Like a face that would be with the crowd and a heel that would be more dominant and more monstrous. I think that would fit Drew more than Dolph. I I actually agree. Because I don't I don't think that's the route they'll go, but I do agree. I think that whole entire thing would be look at how much taller and built like bigger, I guess you could say it that Brew is compared to Dolph. Also, hello, person that joined. It was Trent. Hello. Hey, Trent. We're, we're doing extreme rules predictions. We're on uh, Drew McIntyre with Dolph Ziggler and all that kind of stuff with Seth Rollins. Drew McIntyre? Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre. He's from Air. I'm from Scotland. <laughs> I have bagpipes as my theme song. It is lit, though. It is lit. I'm not even gonna lie. I've been listening to a like that oh. and a mixture of uh, Oscar's theme on repeat. All I can say, when are bagpipes not lit? Oh no, trust me, they can be not lit. If you run them over uh, with a car. Well, uh, yeah, if you do not. Come live in Scotland. <laughs> I can't go to the freaking shops if I hear in bagpipes. <laughs> I expect this match to be all types of flames, though. I think if they play, if both men go out of their way to fight as hard as they can, this could potentially be a match of the year candidate. Yeah, well, obviously Seth, this year, ever since Dean got hurt, has been kind of out to prove himself, and he's been having, yeah, like kind of like 
Gargano and Almas this year. Like they've been busting their ass. They like he almost seems kind of like the Gargano of Raw right the, now. The Raw, yeah. Like he's he's the guy you like give twenty minutes to go have a five star match. He's like, hey, go out there, do your thing, and it's and like, I bet. Not to discredit Dolph, Dolph. Dolph used Dolph. to be that guy. He used to be that guy, but yeah. he like if he if he wants to, he can still go. Be that guy. Yeah. I just think it's, it it really depends on how motivated Dolph is. Yeah, and honestly, I think even if Dolph d- kind of flops and doesn't even put anything into it, uh-huh. Seth can still carry this match. Yeah, I believe it. A lot of people shit on Seth, but Seth is actually a really talented superstar. Hell yeah. Who shit on Seth? I've heard a lot of people say that he's boring and stuff and they want Dean back. I'm just like, bro? Hey, I want Dean back. Everyone wants Dean back, but like, Seth is still fucking man that burned house down. Dean is the thickness. Uh, I don't like that theme. I like it. I like that Any. Anything that gets the crowd to react or pop or interact is good in my books. No matter how cheesy or corny it is. I also, just saying WWE if you're listening, which you probably won't be because you don't listen to anyone but yourself. Uh, whatever you do, that whole thing with Seth with the contacts at WrestleMania, do that again to the poor man. Well, I'm, I'm assuming that was his own choice. It, it, that man, like, poked his he, eye he out. Wa- like, he wanted to be a White Walker from Game of Thrones. L- leave him be. A bit too much. <laughs> That's too much cheese. That's like the Job cheese. Disgust. Yeah, that's cost. <laughs> Trent, any comment on these two, this match? Uh, not really. Why, though? You like yeah. Rassel. Rassel good! Yeah, Rassel good, but Trent tired. Wake hey, up! Hey, wake up. Wake Grab a bush, put a little make up. Go make yours in freaking uh, Connie's coffee. Go step on Godzilla's toe. That'll wake you up. Ree. Ree! That's <laughs> <laughs> you with defense mode. Well, all I can say is it will be in the uh, My Hero Academia movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think this still... This match, great match. As long as Dolph doesn't just sit there and just be like, meh. This should be the main event, in my opinion. I, if you look, you put the freaking, like, the WWE Championship on Dolph, this could be a main event. I think this should be the main event, on, yeah. in all honesty. I, I, I'm not even lying, I agree with you. If you we, know, we know what we get for main event, though. If, if this wasn't, like, Intercontinental Championship and this was, like, Universal or WWE Championship, this match would be a hella great main event. This this sh- this should be Flames. Yeah. Both men can go. I honestly don't care who wins. I'm just excited for the match. But I do think Dolph retains either by cheating or clean. Doesn't matter because I think Seth moves on to bigger and better things. I think, honestly, thing is, Drew will help, uh... Drew will help... Uh, freaking like Seth losing with uh, fucking Dolph and I think it'll build up to Drew versus freaking Dolph yeah I think that I think that's how it'll go I think Dre- uh, Drew will help Dolph but Dolph won't like acknowledge it if you know what I mean and just say I beat Seth on my own blah 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 Drew will get frustrated and eventually like that'll make Drew well, snap or whatever there's that, and I also could see after the match of him helping him be on the cheering and stuff, he comes in and helps celebrate. Then he beats the shit out of him. Yeah, they could just jump straight into it like that. They, he jump, he jumps the shit out of him, and then after that, just holds the belt up and just like, I'm Dream Akadire. This is mine. <laughs> I'm gonna take this home to Scotland and fuck the sheep with it. I'm repoing it. I'm gonna go shag it. Uh, don't remind me on that. <laughs> anyway, Demon, any last words on this? This will be in fascinating 30 minutes. Hmm. 
three, nine, they, they, they have finally the time to shine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where do we go from here? So it's many, it's many, Dolph's many. one match a year where he gets a chance to shine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where we go? From here? Uh, we Thank could go. We could go another whammon, or we could go other tag team. <laughs> I would say other whammon. Other whammon, or right, I hit it up. Oh, Alexa Bliss and Nia Jax. Mm-hmm. And Brown. And don't forget the Queen is in there. Yeah, this is an Extreme Rules match, so yeah. Is it bad that I want to see Nia beat the shit out of Alexa again? This is all about my queen. Yeah. What, Ronda? Yeah. Like, the whole point of this is to get Ronda involved, because all they've yeah. been talking about is Ronda's going to be there, front row, blah, blah, yeah. blah. The thing is, who do you think's going to win? Ronda. <laughs> no, I mean, like, between the two that are actually in the match. I think Ronda Smash. That's what I think will happen. I don't <laughs> think there will be a winner. I think Ronda Smash. <laughs> Fuck it, I take it home. Accurately, I legit think that's what's gonna happen. You think a draw by double DQ? Well, it's extreme How? rules. There is no DQ. Oh, you're true. I I honestly think Ronda Smash, and that's it. I think honestly, it could go that way, or there's another way. I I think. Okay. I think it could set up potentially for Alexa to win. Uh, what do you think? Ronda smash Nia and Alexa gets a cheap shot in and pins Nia. No, Ronda comes in, beats the absolute fucking shit out of both of them. Uh huh. Walks away, then Alexa crawls over. Well, yeah. Mickey. Whoops. I'm assuming Mickey will get destruct at some point. <laughs> yeah, Mickey will come in and just be like, "I got you." <laughs> I no, I think Mickey will get destruct by Nia, not even Ronda. <laughs> She'll, she'll come in and she'll run into Nia and bounce back and die. You know the thickness which, incarnate. You know which spot I kind of missed that I <laughs> did not remember seeing a long time? What's that? Uh, with the uh, putting a garbage bin over someone and then hitting it with a candlestick or something. That's highly illegal now. Hey, Trauma. Oh. So. I think because because they can do the whole thing where they put the hands up next to their head and stuff. There's still a possibility if they hit it too high up. Yeah, it, it, it's it's an unprotected shot to the head. It's I, it's kind of risky. Yeah, I think honestly though, they'll either go and Ronda smash everything or Ronda smash everything plus Alexa, knowing how to crawl and be like, "Hey, I did it." Kind of like um, when Kane debuted in the Hell in a Cell between Taker and Sean. Like, Kane just destruct, then Sean was the one that crawled over and got the cheeky pin. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. see, the thing is, I'm not even gonna lie, and y'all might, like, be like, why? I want Nia to win. I, the, as much as I love Nia, and she's very thick no. and beautiful, no. she's not winning. I know it isn't happening, but the thing is, I still think, I'm sorry. But I think watching Alexa get her ass beat and be a punching bag for fucking a whole entire match to Ronda oh, would me, be more entertaining. We're I, getting, we are a hundred percent getting Ronda Alexa at SummerSlam. Hundred percent. Alexa's gonna die. Yeah, she will. But it will be amazing to watch because she is like generic high school bitchy character, and people want to see them get their comeuppance. So let Ronda smash. I think Ronda is gonna kill both, and what I said is gonna happen where she crawls over and does the whole Shawn Michaels thing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Ronda can smash. Mm. So what are your thoughts on this very lackluster Extreme Rules match? Uh, do I care enough to even comment? Not really. But my queen. <laughs> I love. I'm on board with you. I love Naya. Naya's great. Oh, absolutely. No, no, not that queen. Oh, oh, the queen. Oh, oh, the oh queen. queen. My queen. Okay. You know, there's potential. This could main event just because of Ronda. Yeah. 
Yeah. A- and the fact that it's the Extreme Rules match. Yep. So, I don't know what... I, I, I'm pretty sure Alexa, because like you're saying, like school bully, ha ha. Shit. Yeah. Pretty sure we're seeing Alexa pick up a dub here. Go on to Ronda Smash. <laughs> Ronda Destruct. But, but then, if Ronda does win the Women's Champion, like you say, Ronda wins. Yeah. Who does Ronda go on the feud with next? Bro, Natalia chilling. But the whole friendship. But, but that, friendship. That's okay. the whole point yeah, of now, that story. Look at this whole entire story between these two. Alexa and Naya, they had the whole friendship thing, and then they broke. The whole point of the Natalia Ronda storyline is Ronda wins, right? Obviously, Alexa gets a rematch. Once that's done with, because Ron- Alexa gets smashed again, uh, Natalia would be like, hey, buddy, title match. Ronda's like, sure. Ronda wins fair and square. Then Natalia turns and beats the shit out of Ronda, so we get like extended feud from it. Yeah. That's how that goes. And then you can transition to, if you're going to do the horsewomen thing, then obviously heal Sasha hopefully by then. Chilling for Ronda. Like, there's places but, for Ronda to go. There's the places is, for Ronda to but go, but you have to build is, them. I, I want my goddamn Sasha Bailey feud. God. Oh, it. no, no, no. We are getting it. I'm just saying, way, way in the future, like November, December time. Gotta wait for that. Yeah, I'm saying we get Ronda Alexa SummerSlam, pay per view after Ronda Alexa rematch. Pay-per-view after that, the friendly Ronda Natalia match. Pay-per-view after that, the we hate each other now Ronda Natalia. Then after that, you get your Ronda Sasha or whatever. Yeah. Like, like Ronda's path is very clear. Oh. Also, Trent, you still here? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, I am. We're doing Pokemon thing after this, by the way. Okay. Uh, just so people know oh, in is chat. Too? Uh, yeah. Great. Uh, people in chat, it? stay tuned after a whole wrestle thing. Uh, we're going back to the Pokemon Nuzlocke thing that we were doing yesterday. Yeah. And we'll probably fail because Zach can't get past first gems. Fuck you. Yeah. I am like the B team right now. I believe in myself. I believe. I'm glad Even someone though. believes. I have to because no one else will. I believe in him. He's my partner. I actually need him to win. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pull a trick. Do not lose all of my good shit. I anyway, believe exactly. Anyway, keep her going yeah. before uh, we talk about something else getting killed compared to uh, Alexa and I. <laughs> oh, 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 God. I'm surprised we didn't make the joke. Well, there's only two matches left by my... No, three matches, sorry, by my count. Three, the... <coughs> The, 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 we're getting the, 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 the other match. The, uh... Hell no. There's no, Hell no, no, Bludgeon Brothers, Braun Strowman, Kevin Owens. And... Roman Show! That's next, the Roman Show. No, it's not. Hell no! Is that my name? Yeah. It's the fucking yeah. Roman Show. It's, if Roman's oh, on a card, it's the Roman Show. <sighs> it's either Hell no or Cage Match. It's Hell no. I agree. I think match. it's hell no. They're going to have cage match in the uh, freaking Roman Bobby. Uh, I have my, my, my sad little violin is playing right now. And it makes sense for Roman Bobby to be last because it, isn't it like a whole thing to prove yourself to see who faces Brock? Pretty much, yeah. So it would make sense. Yo, look at Luke Harper's sexy ass on my screen. No way. Why is this man in like HD compared to everyone being 360p? Look <laughs> 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 how to find this bitch is. Yo, wait, look at his, 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 um, his right arm. I'm, I'm confused by my direction. Yeah, it right arm. Jack. It is Jack. It is Jack. I like how I freaking still, Eric. I still, I still stick to my point. Luke Harper is most, the one, the, one of the most underrated wrestlers that WWE has on its roster. Accurate. Him, yeah. and Him and Kane. Cesaro. Kane. Okay. Cesaro. I'll admit one thing. And I Cesaro don't is perfectly rated. Falls. I, I want to say straight up, the whole thing with, uh, I saw a uh, teaser for this, like a poster. Don't ever make Kane smile again. 
<laughs> it's scary. He's but he needs to be what mayor of Knox County or whatever. I'll let you yeah. to know he actually made over there in Knox County. He actually made freaking uh uh what's it called uh first of day an actual legit holiday. Oh I, my I, god! Wait, wait, did he win? He win? I I don't know. Then he can't do shit like that. No, Whoa. he he already declared it national holiday, so he must have won. Well, no, that's one of his policies. Then I'm, I'm assuming he can't actually declare it unless he's in office. He's probably just said, "If I get office, Rusev Day." If I get office, it's happening. <laughs> oh wait, no, he actually won. Oh my! Wait, so he's mayor of Knox County right now? Yeah. yeah. No, Lol? he won. What? You want preliminary, uh, pre right. pre no. preliminaries? That's right what I'm here. Kane, Clint, Glenn Jacobs, still wrestling in WWE after winning Tennessee mayor primary. Yeah, the primary. That means he's not mayor yet. Yeah. He's still got a week to go. I can't believe yeah, this. He's, he's, this man's going to be mayor He's of predicted some... to win. He's predicted to win. I, I need to go. Mayor. I need to go and celebrate rest of day. When that happens, I am so close to the I'm gonna move to Knox County. I'm gonna go down to Knox yeah, County right. and just be like, hey, old brother, hook me up with one of them, uh, roots of days. I uh, uh, I'm assuming this is copyright. It's a Chris Jericho music video, so yeah, it's good. Fucking yeah. <laughs> <No. laughs> Yeah, Judas. Uh, I'd, yeah, copyright is a thing. Let's talk over this, because there's an ad playing. Yeah. Oh, for some reason, now there's, um, 8-bit Slipknot. Hello? You're the one that linked it, Zach. Bro, how long has this been going on for? What, well, 8-bit Slipknot? It just started. No, I mean the whole entire, like, playlist. The whole stream. It's not looped yet. Yeah, it's because, like, after a certain point of you adding stuff, you can turn on the thing of, like, YouTube generated. Oh, no, it's still on the same playlist. Where are you guys at, man? The, uh, card. We're at, uh, uh Bludgeon Hell. Brothers versus Team Hell No. Is that okay with you, Grids? How dare you ask such things? Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, conscious since you're a D. Bry fanboy. Have your way. Uh huh. Uh huh. He's, He's not even here, is he? Fanboy. I'm a D. Bry fanboy. <laughs> Then you go ham. Talk about this match. They gonna do the same old generic bullshit. <laughs> Team Hell No's gonna fucking. They're gonna. I think they're honestly like it'll be a back and forth match, but I still think that D. Bry and Kane are gonna go over. Hell no. I, I think. <laughs> I think See, they're gonna did have it. a he little bit it. of going over. I I think Bludgeon Brothers gonna win, but I still think they're gonna go over for a bit. Well, yeah, that, that's what happens in every wrestling match ever, Zach. Yeah. Also, <laughs> I that's just want to mention... Also, what I want to mention is what I said at the beginning in the one pre-show match. Maybe we're going to see Sanity again. Yeah. yeah. In, in what capacity? Sanity building to Bludgeon Brothers. But that would indicate that they help Bludgeon Brothers win? No, not necessary, but at the end of the match, just. Oh, you mean after down. the match? They, if they yeah, come in and. After the match, a beatdown. The Bludgeon Brothers are just like, yeah, we're strong boys, we win. Oh. And then they come down and just like, hey! hey. No! <laughs> I'll be back in time for the Pokemon stuff. I could do something about somebody trying to steal money on my bank account. So I'll be back. Okay. Uh, I can see that happening. Bludgeon Brothers winning, then have like the lights go out and the helicopter sounds and all that. <laughs> I can see yeah. it. And it just come down. No! no! I, uh, I see a lot of interference in this match. Not just from Sanity, but I think Miz is going to cost your boy D. Bry his titles. Yeah, I think so as well. Because Daniel Bryan's contract's coming up and he hasn't re-signed and obviously they want to do the Miz versus Daniel Bryan before Daniel Bryan either decides to leave or go or stay or whatever. SummerSlam's a big pay-per-view. Blow off Miz versus Daniel Bryan. Easy yeah. booking. 
And if he does re-sign, they can transition it to Daniel Bryan versus Kane and save Miz versus Daniel Bryan. That would give him a whole reason to refund it. He don't need no reasons. He has reasons. Yeah. 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 Green reasons. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he has baby and another one on the way soon reasons. Your money for I need for my children. I'm Heath Slater <laughs> now. <laughs> I got kids. Gonna come out freaking flannel and everything like he was when he was with Bray for a while. That okay, like when they started this feud, I thought that's what they were referencing. Because um they had Daniel like I think he cut a promo. Then when he was walking to the back, the Bludgeon Brothers came out and they had like had a stare down and I was like, wait, are they trying to like reference when Daniel Bryan was part of the Wyatts with them? But then I realized no, they're just saying up random feud. Yeah. I was like, wait, WWE actually remembered something from a while ago for once? Uh, nah. They never remember anything. Just like the mega push that Fandango had against Chris Jericho. That was kind of wild. <laughs> He, he, he wins his first match ever at fucking Wrestlemania against Chris Jericho. It was the problem. They, and the, the problem was they never did anything for him ever again except for putting him into a tag team. To be That's fair, not he's, true. No, he's good in the tag team, but they, they kind of just dropped him after that. That's not true. Okay, explain. He had feud that involved Summer Rae and Layla. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. It's more than Finn Balor's ever fucking done. <laughs> uh. I, I'm actually excited for this match. I'm a huge fan of Harper and Rowan. I actually really like the Bludgeon Brothers, but also, I like Daniel Bryan and Kane just exist. <laughs> I, I actually, like, when they first... <laughs> Did the whole Team Hell No reunion thing? I was like, eh, like, eh. But then this past week on SmackDown, I remembered why I loved it because like Goofy Kane is best Kane in my opinion. Yeah, it is. It is. I, I, I their their chemistry together is kind of wild. Yeah. It's such a weird like friendship as well. Like when you think about the real people, like Kane, like this right wing full on Republican Trump supporter. Then there's Daniel Bryan. Like vegan, vegan, live off the land. <laughs> it it kind of reminds me of the whole thing. It kind of makes it feel like they're trying to do the whole thing between uh, Booker T and Goldust, like they did before. Mm hmm. Like Spook Dust. Yeah. yeah, they throw out two people. They think like, oh, this be funny. It works. Yeah. <sighs> but they they're not going over. This is just nostalgia tour for Daniel Bryan in case he leaves. That's all it is. Mm. I'd be shocked yeah. if... They, actually, I think if they do win, I think that's an indicator that Daniel's re-signed. Yeah. Depending... Like, honestly, depending on how this match goes, it will tell us a lot about his contract status. Yeah. But if he, if he wins and they're champs, he's re-signed. If Miz interferes and we're getting Daniel Bryan Miz, he hasn't re-signed yet. will be interesting. Yeah. Trent got anything to say? I'm just happy that Daniel's wrestling on a regular basis again. But what if he takes a power driver? Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm scared about is if he gets hit by like a stiff discus clothesline by Harper. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's kind of spoopy. Don't be doing that, Brian. <laughs> Death becomes him. Kane gives him a tombstone. Well, there goes Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, no! <laughs> At a house show, they give him freaking, uh, like, Undertaker versus Daniel Bryan. <laughs> it's like, no! Driver, please! Uh, Yo, what if Eric Rowan headbutts him and he just faints? Uh, we'll bring him back on so he can do a, do a uh, Sit down, Paul Driver. Hey, you've missed all their own heart references today. <laughs> He's in hell with Eddie. Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Never forget, Chris. Never forget his spaghetti. Chris Benoit? Yeah. Who's that? 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 Who's and we roasted him and even Ben roasted because it's a French name. Yeah, it's a French name. name. I don't know. I, don't, I honestly don't remember. Uh, Lucky reminds me of something Eric I would do. <laughs> Chris Benoit. Chris Ben. Yeah, like we're talking about he's a great wrestler even though he did all that stuff. Chris Benoit. It's like, the hell? Chris Benoit and Chris Jericho. <laughs> I mean. Chris Jericho. <laughs> 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 I mean, the Extreme Rules match between Chris Benoit and his poor wife must have been crazy. Stop! Bruh, no. Uh, <laughs> he that, always! The, the, the rematch with the handicap match, her with her son. Bruh, Stop! So... <laughs> Bruh, y'all are getting nested. All types of fucked up. Stop. I do not condone any of this. All we talk about is wrestle? With wife and death? I didn't know. We just said match. Didn't mention no, no death. Trace you, you, no, you brought up death, Zach. I hate no, no. Don't try and pin your stupid ass. Mm. Hey, you know in oh, wrestling, death oh, match is a thing. Fuck oh, yeah, especially death. in Japanese. Yeah, never heard of a death match. Fuck. <laughs> also, uh, what if we all going to buy the Fire Pro Wrestling on the PS4 when it comes out and play death match on there? Yeah. Can you create a wrestler? Cause yes. Can't. We can do Chris Benoit versus Nancy Benoit. Ah! <laughs> Legitimate question, right? This is like kind of going on a tangent. Do you actually think we'll ever get Nancy Benoit in the Hall of Fame? No. No. No? She deserves it. Yeah. I, I know, I but know, last but... name. They don't have to yeah. reference Benoit. They could just call her her gimmick name. I like just call her Women. That was her gimmick name. Uh, Ew. It's a, it's a very uh, gray especially, area. Especially who should accept the reward? Kevin Sullivan. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one that understands why that's fucked up. I understand. I understand. <laughs> Actually, no, they could legitimately have Sandman except for her. Yeah, like, that's, yeah. That's, that's who she managed, firstly. Anyway, back to Daniel Bryan and his very precious little head. Hey, Zach. <laughs> what? So how many power drivers Daniel take in this match? Nine. Why not? Unless they take one and he... It's fine. Were they about to like set him up for a pile driver? You were about to freak out. I would be like, <laughs> swerve! It was a power bomb all along. Not look, they actually hit him with the pile driver, and then he just gets up. Hey, I'm good. <laughs> that would be the first debate. But yeah, this match will be fun. Team Hell No matches were always fun. Yeah. I know Kane. I know Kane's a bit like, obviously older and slower, but like Daniel can carry the most of the stuff. I'll be honest, the whole entirety of the biggest thing that got me fueled for how no, <clears> just like liking them, bring back of their old ass weird commercials. I don't like, remember. Give me the rap thing. No, they had. It looked like a thing where they were in a Danny's. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they had. Uh, like, they did a when Harry met Sally scene. Yeah, they're over here just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then the lady comes up, I want what they have. Yeah, it's from When Harry Met Sally. Zach yeah. doesn't watch movies, so he doesn't know the reference. I don't. Uh, it was I, a great I like reference. that type of stuff because not only is it a good callback to just like things they did before, but also at the same time, it's just fucking genuinely funny. I, I don't, Honestly, that. after this match, I don't think Team Hell No will be around anymore. Because obviously Kane's busy, like obviously. I think Kane's gonna go back to being a right wing, uh, fucking public. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, this match will be fun. Should we move on? Yeah. We shall move on, just like the careers will after this whole entire match. Will. Did you see the Koreans? No, I said their careers. Oh. What do the Koreans do? You? Oh yes, Haruneda. 
Alright. Braun and Kevin. Yeah. Cage match. Uh, Braun smash. Braun smash? Yeah, Braun smash. Kevin, uh, like, do some stuff. Yeah, how about Braun smash Kevin through the cage and so Kevin wins? It's already happened this year. Yeah, um, <laughs> The whole thing went uh, through. Uh, yeah. I wanted to forget that. I, I, I wanted to forget that. Uh, that's why I was originally thinking, but then I was like, eh, they've already done it. I, I think, honestly, what will happen, straight up, if Braun wants to win, Braun will rip off door and beat the shit out of Kevin with it. I, I'm not, not gonna lie, Zach, I had a similar idea. Not so much rip off the door, rip, rip off, off an actual side of the cage and pi pin him down with it. <laughs> that's fucking wild, this man will die. <laughs> like, rather than throw him through it, just rip it off and pin the man to the floor with it. Yeah. Because, like, Braun in these kind of matches always has to do something special and makes him stand out as a monster. Braun, Braun is monster among men. Monster in bank. He has to literally mm -hmm. just, like, Hey! I clobber everything! Break yep. all the things! Uh, I You'll... have a weird idea, but that does not work because they don't have much space. What's that? Flip the cage. <laughs> well, I was thinking, like, have you like Kevin climb to try and escape, get him, get him to the top? Have Braun lift the cage, the side he's on, and like tip him back into the ring. Yeah, that, that, that's a spot. Yeah, like there's enough ways that you could gimmick the cage to the, allow that to be possible. There, there's so many things you could do. Like literally, Braun is. I know this is hard to say. As a man, it's such big of a stature. He's unpredictable. Well, another way they could do it, rather than him, like, throw Kevin through the cage to win, they could have him, like, power slam Kevin through the mat. Technically, yeah. that's Kevin winning. Yeah? No? Yeah, I, I could... Either that or... Uh, uh, and, uh, isn't it outside the ring? The floor outside well, the ring? That's the thing, is it just out? Well, they could do that, like, power slam through the mat, have Braun, yeah, yeah, have Braun be celebrating and shit, then Kevin just slowly crawls, like, from underneath. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have something I would low-key pay for if, if I need to for this. What? And it goes along with this, it's kind of wild. I want Braun to try and climb the cage and then get pulled down by Kevin and fall on him and go through the fucking ring. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. He just falls down on your ears. Just, <laughs> just ah! <laughs> I mean, uh, I think either way, even if Kevin wins, he's still dying. Yeah. Um, I uh, yeah, good comedy way. Yeah, like Kevin's obviously great in the ring, great character, good promo. He's very funny as well. Probably. There's literally nothing the man can't do. Except he's gonna die. Yeah, poor little fat man. That's like if you put me up against, like, Big Show or something, just like, I have little fat man, I will just hide now. I am turtle. I hide in my shirt. Like, I don't expect this to last long. It will just be a case of Kevin constantly trying to run away, Braun catching him, beating him up. But yeah, the, all this match is is to set up whatever major spot Braun's going to do, I think. I think <laughs> if they go with what I said. <laughs> WWE will be the greatest of all fucking time. I, I like that idea. Rod will literally just fall over and fucking Kevin, it'll happen in his head all slow motion. Just, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Oh shit! I, I can see it happening. Like, they've done that that kind of finish before with Big Show. Yeah. Uh, Big, Big Show chokeslammed someone through the mat and they crawled underneath. <laughs> In one, so and they have a history of Braun just repeating shit Big Show did, so why not? Give the man the originality, try and climb up, and then all of a sudden just fall over and be like, ah, and then he just dies. <laughs> Literally die. Wait, so do it. Oh, I, I think Kevin will win, but it won't be in like he actually wins kind of way. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he'll, he'll, he'll be win because of Braun's, he does too much destruct. <laughs> He'll be creative in the way that he wins it. Yeah. 
Uh, people agree, disagree? <laughs> I yeah. want that dude to get squished. I can't stop thinking about that. I can see it in my head. <laughs> Hey, well, maybe you train. Have an island. That'll take a lot of no, fucking legit, work. No, I ex legit, I explained it. Ron will climb up the fucking cage, he'll slip, fall, and fall right on top of Kevin, and they'll go right through the fucking ring. Oh my god. I be, want it to happen. That would be the funniest shit of all time. And Zach <laughs> came up with it. I mean, if they do it, Someone else came up with it. If they do it, they listen to this and they're just like, Nope, change of plans. He's good. <laughs> you I just get an email. We'd like people. to offer you a job. <laughs> the recording is like, hey, Mayor. I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, you write everything Braun does from now on. <laughs> I, I, I'd, be I'd be over here just like, so guys, uh, what Braun do today? <laughs> Oh wait, no, wait, did that count wrong? Yeah, yeah, we had we had four matches left, not three. And then Zach would quit on the second day. Yeah. Accurate. <laughs> I, I'd give they don't treat me good. <laughs> Vince was dick to me. Vince <laughs> made me cry. He didn't give me my 89 cents. <laughs> That'll stop the pairs. Hunter turned his head, looked at me, and his nose poked me in the eye from across the room. Stephanie <laughs> didn't give me my croissant. <laughs> He walks into the room where he's riding, and then he comes out 20 minutes later. He's like, "Man, I'm just not enjoying it anymore." <laughs> no, they I wanted me in. to make Finn interesting, and it's impossible. <laughs> I walk in, they're just like, write a whole thing for Braun versus Big Show versus Shane McMahon. And I'm just like, what? What? by the by the way, where has Shane been? Shane died. Like, is he doing? Like, he's not been on TV in a long ass time. I hope he's okay. Uh, WWE, don't fuck me like that. Don't make me write Finn into goodness. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, Zach, your first task. Book six-month program for Jinder Maha. Uh, <laughs> me. Oh, dear, we can't play that. That's Aleister Black's music. Oh, well, hello. Okay, we, we skipped it to 8-Bit All-Star. Hey now, oh, no. <laughs> hey, Braun, smash! Uh, we happy to move on from AJ or not AJ? Uh, Braun, Kevin. Yeah. That that will be best match if they do what I said and Jim Cornette write, writes me into the <gasps> thing. I think natural transition is Rusev Day versus AJ Styles. Rusev Day. All right. Oh <sighs> <laughs> this man does not seem to be fits here. Leave him alone, man. He needs more hair. Rusev crush. He needs more hair on chest. Too naked. On chest? Yeah, too naked. Need more hair. <sighs> you look like a baby. Man. Woman. <laughs> you look like a Russian baby. He's Bulgarian, but okay. You know that they're gonna... They always have, like, the whole Russian thing with him. No, not anymore. No, yeah. ever, ever since the Cena feud was finished, they they dropped the whole Russian thing. About to say, he came out in a freaking tank, and it's like, Hey, Vladimir Putin gave him star! <laughs> you were good! I'm your now, now it is Rusev Day. Yeah. Uh, um, all this screams is alright, people in the crowd, we get it. Eli Rusev. He can there have you know. filler match. <laughs> he, got yeah. a load. he can he can have pity title match against AJ before real AJ feud at SummerSlam. Gonna fall over and break his ankle. Oh. Well, yeah, what if what if this is just Rusev. what if this is just set up for AJ versus Aiden English? Oh no. Fuck, go back. What's wrong with that? Back on the track, and I said, fuck, go back. I need to be your B, so Demon, Trent, Zach, speak. Oh, uh, to be what? honest, I, I'm kind of wishing that this match uh, is, uh, is going to be a stellar match, and maybe WWE gives it a try with Rusev and 
you baby face. I don't know. I mean, four and baby face did try that with Shinsuke and yeah. Well, that did not really work out well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anything what you imagine that uh, Aiden English is going to do as an intro? M maybe because AJ is a redneck, redneck style uh, Rusev Day? No, he don't want none! No, he don't want none! <laughs> he don't want none! No, he Rusev Day! There you go, brother. I'm writing your show for you, WWE. Give me a job so people shut up about me getting a job. Well. Good job. You know, shut you up. Know that, <laughs> you know that won't be happening. I expect an email by tomorrow, Jim. Who, Jim? Jim Cornette. He does not work for WWE. Uh, uh, he can still hire me, too. You don't want to work for Jim Cornette. Money, 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 money. Dollar, dollar. Uh, man, um, let's see. This man has much potential because this is two sides that clash well with each other. The, the, the brutal, aggressive monster style versus the, 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 the technical beating up style of AJ Styles so much potential uh Abba says hey grids in the chat he wants something what can you make thumbnail while we wait until Pokemon thing starts please I don't even have all the stuff for the digital power podcast though that's that. It's into you. <laughs> but yeah, but you could also do. You're not doing anything either. I'm doing part of podcast. I am also Hello. here. You're just talking. We Hello. We are at one of the greatest matches tonight. Is there something? Well, I think yes, you got to change letters. Okay, tell your fucking mouth crack, bitch. It's her Sunday. So, what do you expect out of this? Like good things for both these men. Yeah. But I'm still, it's tired. still a match. Yep, Rusev, I'm sorry. I love Rusev, but he ain't winning. Sorry, Rusev. Is this... If, if, if this was Rusev when they were building him as Bulgarian Brute and stuff like that... He would I'm still have lost. Shot. No, when they first were pushing Rusev, I would have gave him a shot in Dark for it. A very, very, very big shot of Dark. But, especially right, right now, where Rusev is, he's over with Rusev Day, but is he over enough to hold, hold the title? No. I'm sorry, Rusev. No. Uh, all I can say is I agree with Weezing. It, it's a filler for the AJ Samoa Joe match that's going to happen at you... SummerSlam. Which I'm excited about. I love uh, the both those men are two men, two 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 of my favorite wrestlers. I think I think uh, I'm deciding in my head because I'm thinking about this long term, and I'm pretty sure we all agree that AJ is going to win. Correct? Yeah. Basically, and we try to stretch okay. it out because we think it's BRB. Okay. Well, um, if AJ wins, oh, he goes to Joe. <laughs> do you give Joe? I think you give Joe the title here. I think you do. Yeah, because what is left for AJ to do with the title, exactly. to be honest? There's really... Yeah, exactly. I think it's time for give AJ, AJ to give the title, do some huge... The only other feud I honestly see AJ having left is maybe Daniel. But that's only if his contract gets extended. Yeah. Uh. I, I, I also I also think if 
I also think Daniel Bryan. SmackDown, a lot of SmackDown is dependent on Daniel Bryan right now, in my opinion. Depending on what if Daniel has resigned. By the time the pay per view happens, if Daniel has resigned, if he hasn't resigned, it's going to stop a lot of things going long term. Because if he hasn't resigned yet, they're going into SummerSlam like this is Daniel Bryan's last fucking match for us, and let's put everything on the table. But if he has resigned, then they're going with a different mindset. Let's not book it like it's his last match. Let's book it like he has a couple matches, because realistically, he does. So, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I would love, honestly, love Daniel Bryan versus AJ and a couple other feuds. Hello? Uh, it's for Sunday. Yeah, it is for Sunday. Do you agree with me if you think that a lot of, a lot of the future of SmackDown depend, is dependent on what Daniel Bryan decides to do? Correct. Um, I 100% think AJ's winning. We're getting AJ versus Joe at SummerSlam. Then uh-huh. who wins there? Hundred percent depends on Daniel Bryan. Because if because if Daniel stays, then yeah, you you do AJ Daniel. Yeah, I think a lot of things have been on Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan, if he if he has three stars, like I think this most of his view on SmackDown wise. It depends on Daniel Bryan. If Daniel Bryan has resigned by the time we get around to by the, by Sunday, it decides well a lot a lot of stuff that happens. Because uh, I honestly I think if Daniel Bryan does decide to resign, and he actually said in an interview today that he, it's likely he will. Uh, um, he I think the plan should be have AJ keep the belt until Mania and have Bryan challenge AJ at Mania. That's their marquee SmackDown match. I agree. And I, I know that kind of hurts Joe a bit, but if you don't want AJ to have a super long run, you can just have Joe be AJ, but AJ get it back at some point. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. But yeah, everything depends on Daniel, honestly. Mm-hmm. How do I set and it up now, Joe? No one. You just export, upload. For my sanity sakes, I, I really need to. I really, really need to know if Daniel's gonna resign or not, because my, my brain's a lot of stuff in my brain is like it all depends on Daniel Bryan. What is Daniel Bryan? Uh, D- Demon and I were talking about this before the stream earlier. If you think about Rusev's career in WWE, can you name a standout match he's had? Mm-hmm. Only thing I can remember that would even be a standout is because the people that are in it is him and Zena. Yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't like amazing match. It was just big name. It, I don't know. That's all I can a, give you. It yeah. Was a, it was a match with Rusev or someone. I think it might have been that. But but there's no like clear, like match of the year type performance that he's ever had. No. No. This is his opportunity to do that. With with AJ and I'm, obviously AJ is always willing to put in the work needed. In my opinion, I think one of Rusev's best matches. Recently, was that tag team for a match between Rusev? Oh no, no, I I agree, but I wouldn't say that's like a prominent Rusev match. That's just a tag team match. All of them yeah, put in work. Uday, Uso, yeah, they, that yeah. Was a great match. I think that was fantastic. But as far as Rusev's singles career, he's not really had standout performances, mm. which isn't entirely his fault. He's obviously capable. Like, he is good, but. Yeah. He's never had opportunity to be on like pay per view twenty minute main event level, like the closest he had was the Cena match at Mania, and it was good, but it wasn't great because it was typical Cena versus Foreigner heel type shtick. Yeah. Okay, I have yeah, a question. Uh, fuck yeah. What is question? Uh, it's more so to do with Nest stuff right now. Oh okay. God! If I were to sign into Nest thing, would it log Demon out and get rid of the stream? I'm streaming. Okay, well, that's you out not and... meta. Well, you don't need to export okay. until the stream's over, anyway. Yeah. I know, but I still want to be ready because I want to do that and then set up my shit for Pokemon. Oh, okay. Well, I can just I can end the stream to make it easier for you to export, then start back up for Pokemon because I'll need yeah. like a few minutes to set up anyway. That's what we're gonna do, but like, <clears throat> I just want to be ready. Where's yeah, yeah. Pokemon? I'll just I'll end when we're done talking about the Roman show. Uh, Roman but show. yeah. We all kind of consensus it should be a good match, but AJ going over. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 
But, sad, Rusev deserves, deserves but I really <laughs> but I really hope that Rusev shines so bright in this match that WWE overthinks him. Yeah, and like they they take notice. Him. Yeah. And mm. there is n nearly nobody else in SmackDown but, that he could show up as much I, as I, with I, AJ. I, 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 I just hope it doesn't happen. What does the same thing did happen to Cesaro? Cesaro has a, Cesaro has had a couple great showings of matches, like where he's just put his put his ass on the line and gave it his all, but still just kind of where he is now. Even though he's not where he is in the tag division, not bad because at one time him and Sheamus were carrying Raw on their backs, them two alone. But yeah, I hope. I think that's a problem with, with most of WWE right now. They have a lot of people and a lot of stuff, a lot of people to work with, but not enough time for everyone to shine. Yeah, with the whole NXT situation and then trying to sign every indie talent under the sun, Yeah, they have too much talent for their own good right now. It's not necessarily yeah. a bad thing, it's just that but we've seen like with people like The Revival in Tyler Breeze, like talented yeah. people just don't get chances to shine just because there's not enough time. Yep. But I think I think what's gonna help a lot, if if I'm not mistaken, where Fox Sports is also trying to get in are gonna get an NXT show, correct? Right? We don't we don't know. If they do get the NXT show along with SmackDown and Raw They're not I getting raw. Oh well I know they're not getting raw, but like having like another three branded show where it's like NXT is not just internet network it's like a big thing so they can expand the roster put more people on the roster people have opportunity to shine more so that means I think what they should do if NXT does that I think they should go make another thing a fourth one if, if they they, if, they already have a fourth brand oh besides NXT UK or the or the Cruiser. 205 is a fourth brand. Well, you get what I'm saying, though, right? Have, like... They, they're supposed to be rumoring buying... I think it's Ref Pro, right? Not buying. WWE, or... What, what is it, Ref Pro? They're, they're supposed to be buying some promotion. They're, they're not buying a promotion. They're getting the rights to the promotion. It's different. Oh, they're getting the rights to a promotion? They're going to get... They're trying to get... I think they already actually do have the rights to both... Rev Pro and ICW. Okay. In that case, I would like them to bring those to the network and use those to expand out more. So that that could have happened any time in the last year. Vince has just not said yes yet. That's yeah. that's that's a thing right now that can happen. It's just we're waiting on Vince's approval. Yeah, that's the one thing you need. I think that's the way you make more people relevant, get more people time to shine, give bring them more stuff to the network. Let them go to those other two promotions you have at your disposal and shine, and use the talent there around at the promotion. Their big stars, bring them to your other stuff, and use those smaller guys. Build up your bigger stars. Go up there and say, "Hey, we have this promotion on the network." Well, we don't have. Well, it wouldn't be a promotion. It'll be this is a brand on the network. This is another WWE sub subsidi subsidiary. Mm -hmm. And bam, here's something bigger. Here's some new talent. Hey. Since about old time versus this good new talent, blah blah blah. Expand some of those like Tyler Breeze and stuff like that. Give them a chance to let let them grow. I I, I I love Vince. Love you, Vince. I'm sorry to say this, but when Vince passes on, we're gonna see a lot of changes in WWE, and I think it'll be for the better. Depends who's in charge. That too. Yeah. Okay. See him, punk. No, it's it's real talk, Zach. Like Vince, Vince, he. I think a lot of his thinking is going toward the old school promoter. Is in his mind. I still think. I think good. I I agree with you. Just thing is, v I, 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 Vince comes like like Conscious said. Like uh, I know more wrestling history than you guys do. No offense, but like he is an old school promoter. His yeah. mentality, the way he was taught, is eliminate the competition that's yeah. like take their talent eliminate competition whereas if Triple H was put in charge it's like no competition is good promote yeah. it <laughs> yeah. like look at, like I think Vince is slowly catching up because 
they're open openly referencing things like UFC, which they may like you may not look at it as competition, but it is. It's a combat sport. And the whole thing, just a small thing, like new, like Vince and Triple H are agreeing that they're willing to do a co-branded promotional thing with New Japan. That's that's giant because New Japan, arguably WWE's biggest competition, right now. No, UFC is. The UFC? Oh, oh UFC. hell yes. Yeah, I, forget, I forget UFC is a thing. I, 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 I'm, thinking, I'm thinking of the wrestling as a, as a wrestling mindset. I'm thinking of just wrestling promotions. No, Vince's biggest competition is UFC right now. Yes. And it will be for the foreseeable future. Yes. So, use it. Use it to your advantage. Instead of trying to he, he is now, which we'll get yeah. to when we talk about the next match. Stop trying to bury them and use them to, hey, you might, you might can get this. Like, for example, you, you, y'all can have, y'all can have Brock here for this day, this day, this day. But hey, let us borrow this star so we can put him on this, our show to get a couple fights for here. Blah, blah, blah. Let's work together. Make ourselves more money. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I think, so is we're on the last match? The Roman show? The Roman show, see? I will say this. I'm, in my opinion, I think that's um, the wrong match. Bobby Lashley, Bobby Lashley is in a lot more impressive to me now than he was before. When we worked in, still kind of generic, bland, blah blah blah. But I can see him, a personality trying to come out of him, in my opinion. I think that's I think, what they tried to do with him the entirety of the Sami Zayn Bobby Lashley thing. Yeah. Th that was trash. I I think uh, yeah, it, it was still trash, trash but I think it, entirely it was I to think, help him build Roman, personality. I think Roman is a good a good view for him because I VC is gonna go and murder me for this, but I watched CNA. I did watch his CNA run. I watched a lot of it. He had he he had a lot of his personality come out in that run where he was that cocky heel. He's very cocky. He he knew he was good. He's like, I know I'm good. I'm the best here. Sing who you sing your best at me. They will so basically me. Brock Lesnar. Yeah. I'm gonna say it just hard and boldly. He's Black Lesnar. Let him be it. Oh no, for sure. Let let, let him go. Let him go ham. Yeah, I I, I agree. Let him go ham. He, he he's that like he has some ring seals. That's the thing. He has a personality on him. Let him let him do him. Let him destroy some people. Let him run through people. Fuck people up. Let let him shine and have him I would like him versus Lesnar to be more of a UFC style match, in my opinion. Than more of a wrestling match. Because both of them have UFC backgrounds and both of them know how to work a UFC match. So I Not UFC like a... but MMA. MMA MMA, sorry. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'd rather yeah, it have MMA. spots of MMA, but not entirely be consistent of it. No, I, I, I think an MMA match between them two will be, will be a different, different pace of match because they I, both get mat wrestled, they both get go stand up and throw fists and stuff like that. So I, w I would like that, like just to see, like, because if WWE is gun ho with the whole, hey, UFC's there, but hey, we're here too. Show, hey, we can have this too. Because they have some UFC fighters on their roster. They have Ronda. They have the four horse, the three four horse women. They have um, another male UFC fighter that just recently signed with WWE, an MMA fighter. So they have them there. To have it just stop. I would say, I'm trying to always say this. Um, le less of a scripted uh, match. More of more, less of a WWE style looks rehear like rehearse match. More of hey, we're gonna go out here have a fight, try to hurt each other. I guess is the best way I think, think I said it. I might be talking wrong, but that's that's in my head. That's why I see. That's what, that's why I expect. Yeah, that's what I see in my head. That's what I want in my head. Uh, also, just wanted to point out. Uh, I have something to say at end of stream, so just uh, give me a point at the ending, okay? All right. Uh, Vizui, Demon. Hello. 
Say it, say it, bork, bork. I just I just want to point out um, what they're doing with Brock is incredibly smart. Yeah. It's so ridiculously smart. Like he has so much heat going on. <clears throat> yeah, like they're playing up the whole. Oh, he doesn't want to be here. Contract. Blah blah blah. He doesn't want to wrestle. Not paid enough. It's getting casual fans to hate him. So if they do want to do Roman versus Lesnar, casual fans will be like, "Fuck Lesnar, he's never here." Blah blah blah. Okay. Like, yeah, it's working. It works, and it's and it's the best part about it, I see it on YouTube. Little marks are like, "Brock's contract. That's why he's not at SummerSlam." Blah blah blah. It's BS. He's gonna he's gonna be at SummerSlam. <laughs> yeah, I like SummerSlam, man. Slam, slam. Yeah, it will be a slow fest. <laughs> <laughs> Slam, it's 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 working. Okay. We have yep. Summer Slam uh, predictions. I'm literally Wait, putting so, that in the uh, so, so what you're saying is they're trying to get Brock more heat? Yes. They're trying to light the fire are, are under they, Are they ass. actually trying to put Roman over over Brock? They're yes. It yeah. no. I said this for Money in the Bank. They're gonna book the match. Roman versus Brock. Uh, if Roman is still getting heavily booed, you break the glass in case of Braun emergencies. Boo <laughs> the monster in the back. That's what it is. In case of emergencies, break glass for Braun. In case of boo, help. <laughs> Basically. And now, and now I'm imagining myself that Braun comes out to Stone Cold's music with shattering yeah. the glass. <laughs> that's the like I said this during Money in the Bank that is the reason Braun won it's because yeah. if the Roman thing doesn't work there he is <laughs> pretty much <sighs> the Roman show got it now we, wait do we, did we all agree that Roman's winning yeah yes no maybe so yeah yes. Yeah. Trent, conscious? Conscious, yeah. yeah yes, pimp. Oh. Uh, Ma'am, yes. Okay. So, Roman winning. Lashley still exists, I guess. So, overall excitement for show? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Potential. Um, uh, it has some things oh, to wait. shine. Yeah, I, I, I'm excited to see Braun murder Kevin Owens. Not gonna lie. I, I, I want my plan to go through. <laughs> for Braun to climb up cage, fall over on freaking Kevin, smash him, he crawls under the ring, wins. Oh, smash him through the ring! <laughs> smash him like, through the ring, fall. he lands on him, he crawls underneath the ring, like Hubba said, and he wins. And Braun, uh, 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 Kevin like, crawls uh, underneath the ring, and he's uh, like, I wonder! Uh, Oofy, it's, it's Kevin, funny, uh, that's kind of what that feud is, it works. It does work. And yeah. it'd be fucking amazing. WWE hit me up so I can quit day two. Yeah, overall, I am actually kind of excited for this show. As much as people hate on Roman, I actually think the match will be decent. Yeah. I think, show? honestly, if they, if both men... It's like the Dolph and Seth. If, if they're both motivated, yeah. It's good. If they're both motivated, if they both get jacked, yeah. I guess... <laughs> if, uh, the thing is, it can go one of two ways, right? Roman and Lashley can either go out there and beat the shit out of each other, and it'll be amazing, I'll, or they'll go out there and have a slow, methodical, like, kind of, oh, no. eh, match. Oh, super oh, grappling, no. super boring. Oh, yeah. No. I want but, Roman and I want Roman and Roman and um, Brock, the Roman and Black Lesnar. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, Bobby. Roman and Bobby. Roman and Bobby, I want them to murder each other. Preferably yeah, it should be a fight. The storyline they have going in, it should be a fight. No, and I hope we get one. Fight. It should be a death match. <laughs> like, Pretty no, much. No they should beat it. the Just fuck like, out of each other. You know, like I've said many times, they've been in a feud where they supposedly hate each other. If they start with a lockup, that's all the like intensity from the feud dead. But we'll see. I, I want them to come in the fight and try to beat the shit out of each other immediately. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, we done? Wait, Final wait, thoughts? Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Did you see? Did you see what happened last week with bra, bra, uh, well Monday with uh with them two? Uh, the pull apart. 
Yeah, they, they just, like, this is a really, really nice aggression between the two men. I, that's what I want. I yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Uh, uh, the thing that I kind of want is uh, for Roman to mock Bobby and well, trying to do the, the uh, holding vertical suplex thingy I'll, on I'll Bobby mm -hmm. to mock Roman and do a, a spear. Mock no, Superman punch. Superman punch. <laughs> Superman punch. He's over here. I, I think oh! we'll get stuff. What did you say, Hubba? I can't remember. <laughs> Fell asleep uh, mid sentence. I, I'm doing like multiple things at work. Once. Uh, I have been. <laughs> okay. Oh. But yeah, I, I I want to see something like um, this kind of mocking in it. It needs to happen, especially how both of them gone into it kind of cocky. Yeah. Uh, so are we finishing? Can I do the thing? Yeah, everyone wrap up. Okay. Everyone say bye. Uh, wait, before that, I have an announcement to make. Uh, I thought you meant off stream. No. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Okay. So, I did precaution. I did smart thing. If you put exclamation point multi in the chat for the upcoming Pokemon stream, it'll have a multi with every single one of our Twitches in it. Me, you, Grizz, Demon. Well, I put the nest. Oh yeah, uh, nest, you, Grizz, Demon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was gonna say, Krim and Conscious ain't gonna be streaming. I know. I put everybody who actually will be streaming it so you can get all perspectives. Okay. Yeah, we'll be back in whenever Conscious is back <laughs> with uh, Pokemon. Hopefully like 10 or 15 minutes. Hopefully. Not too long. I but if it's long, I will kill him. Everyone say bye. Bye. Who can knock? Hello.